Okie dokie. Dark Souls 3! <sighs> Have not played this game in a rip, which was the whole point. Uh, I noted when I was playing Dark Souls... Uh, hello, Mass is up. I noted when I was playing Dark Souls yesterday that I hadn't actually played Dark Souls 3 recently. And this game, like all of them, appear to have randomizers. Although I, 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 I bet Dark Souls 2 has a randomizer. I just don't know if I care about it. But I figured, why not try out this game to see what it was like. There were two different randomizers. Uh, one of them... One of them, like, was more dynamic. This one is a lot like the Dark Souls randomizer. Where there's, like, a cheat sheet and stuff. Um, so I figured I would try it out. And I'm going to... Yes, indeed. That's the only thing we need out of the cutscene. Okay, so let's pick a class. Let's see what our options are. We have a knight who is using whatever the mirror shield is called and the candlestick sword. Mercenary is using the Lothric banner and the eagle shield. Warrior has the shield of sunlight and the mask and a showtel. Harold has a partisan, east-west shield, nameless uh, king armor, the dancer helm. Thief has the barbed straight sword. Assassin has the uh, po the pole axe. I forget what it's called in this one. Is it bronze axe? Sorcerer has. Ooh, Henri's sword. The Astora Straight Sword. And uh, Fake Patches' armor. Pyromancer has the Mallet. Cleric has Falchon. And Deprived has... I think that's the dagger that the candle guys have in in Yorm's spot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a number between 1 and 10. 7. So, 10. Now we got... Ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay, so we got we got we're going to be playing as a sorcerer. Hmm. Pretty sure I'm gonna pick hidden blessing just to trade it away. I could also just pick sovereignless soul. Okay, last time I played Dark Souls 3 on stream, it was with an angry young woman named Harold. So this time... Yeah, I'm on a new save file because of the mod engine. Just to keep my other saves from getting netcode banned, which I'm not actually that concerned about. We're not going to put too much eight into... put too much detail into it. But we are going to play an old man. An old angry man. Because that's what I also like to play as. Hmm. What kind of old angry man do I want to play as? Yes. Here we go. With long luscious eyelashes.
There we go. Facial balance. Just quickly give them the old juice. Okay, there we go. He's perfect. <laughs> what am I going to name him? Finalized creation. We are playing as Cheese Whiz. So I wonder how much of Dark Souls is, Dark Souls 3 item placement I remember. Probably not super well, to be honest. And let me know how the game balance is, too. I'm just playing it by ear, like I always do. I'm skipping this. It's boring. Somehow I'm in mid-roll. Got the heretic staff. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Something is wrong. Okay, this is reversed. But this isn't. Why does it... Why does it, uh... Oh, so normal is reverse in this game. Got it. Okay. Because the... I also need to turn that down. One mo. There we go. Is this reversed? No, it isn't. Did I, did I do a goof -um? Eh, whatever. I should probably turn the HUD on so I can see that I can't wield my sword without two-handing it. So I have to two-hand my weapons. And my, my shield is pretty poor. Talkwood shield. Hawkwood, uh, got chastised for using a shield in the first place. Okay. Henri's sword is quite good, especially if you can. I could just do a luck build if I find a hollow stone, rested coin, hello TK cat. Eat it! Alright, so they still gave me the Ash and Essence flask. I have hidden body and hidden weapon as uh, spells. Those are not the best of spells. I believe Sorcerer normally starts with Soul Arrow and maybe Heavy Soul Arrow. Hey, don't bully me. I feel like the game's a little loud. So let's fix that. Let's try that. So let's go fight the the Gila monster. This is gonna be a bit hard without a uh, shield, but I'll make do.
Oh shit. How that missed me. He should be staggering soon. And the Farron Coal. That's a very, that's a good pickup, and the black blade, also a interesting pickup. I forget if this weapon is good or not. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen any Dark Souls three either. That's kind of why I wanted to give it a go. I like that all three of the sorcerer's bars are equal in length. So my intelligence is pretty high. That doesn't mean I'm locked into using sorcery. But it does make it attractive if I find any good sorceries. I've got a small shield, so maybe I'll be able to be cool and parry uh, Gundir. Get my emote. And now I've got to deal with these guys. I want to relearn how to parry. And you're going to be my, you're my Huckleberry. that regen thing does Henri straight sword have HP regeneration on it Yep, it's got HP regeneration on it. Very slow, but it's there. Okay, quit not fooling around. Gotta do a jump. Hold up. Yeah, I had to do that. I I still prefer to play with the double tap B than to the stick. I, the stick is probably better, but most of the controllers I've played with have been unable to do it very well. And I've grown accustomed to double double taps B. Somewhere around here there's fire bombs. These guys also have a drop. Oni Slayer Great Arrow. 
Got it, coach. Okay. Let's get my juice back and then go to the boss. It's a straight shot through. Somehow that hit me. Fire boots. Alright, let's pull out our sword. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I could. You sort of stay at this distance and then he'll do the attack that's easy to parry. This is when I knew I would love this game is when this was the first boss. Is it goop time yet? Goop time! And that's, that's Udex Gundir. I got the East-West Shield and the Pale Tongue. Well, East-West Shield might be better than my current shield. It's not. Uh, means I... Do I have the sword? No. Means I've got to find the sword. Now there's very few places the sword could be. So. I'm not greatly worried about it. Did the sword have better stability? Did it have better stability? Yeah. Worse. One point worse of block. It's four points better. Oh, but I can't wield it. Okay. Here is the broken straight sword. It's a Titanite shard. Got it. And I'm playing offline. Because if you play online with this game, with mods, it's. It's very... The netcode for Dark Souls 3, very easy for hackers to get around. Or the, the, the Steam Guard, whatever. But... Pretty good at uh, getting rid of mod users. I would have forgotten this item if I didn't turn around. I would have forgotten this, this red bug pellet. How much strength do I have and how much do I need to use it? I have seven. I need ten. Ten strength is probably worth just picking up anyways. Wake up, kids. None of these jokers are dropping anything. There's an item here if you do somebody's quest line. I think it's the Moon Woman's quest line. Or it's Hawkwood, one of the two. Dog time. Yeet. Okay. 
Okay. Don't think I'll fight the Master yet. I guess I should go look at the Master. Is he still the Master, or has his equipment changed? I think his equipment might have been changed. Wilhelm's armor? That's very fashionable. Sure, the dogs can have darkness. Oh, we are fashion souls in it up. Although I'm going to, I'm going to use that staff here. When I fight the master. I'm going to give myself an advantage. The advantage of magic. I can only have hidden weapon or hidden... Well, time to die. I didn't think that would work. My best bet is to knock him off a cliff. Or parry him a few more times. Man, that attack is really easy to parry. It's got such an obvious tell. Shit. Fuck. Ooh. Ooh. That was the master. I am the master now. Because I figured out that his uh, his attack was easy to easy to parry. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, if you're going to town, you might as well go in a Lincoln. That's all the items that are accessible from here. I think. I don't have the coiled sword yet, so I can't go to the high wall of Lothric. Or even really use that bonfire. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, he's wearing the turtle armor. For a second, I thought he was wearing Artorius' set. Ah, another one. Will you not get okay. Don't you think? If you like Final Fantasy XIV, this is Sir Aymeric. Better known as the Ishgard guy who's horny for you. What a sick joke. Asking us to see. 
seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their moaning thrones. You're talking of true legends. Those who will be seen. It's the exact same voice. They're not fit to lick their boots. I think if I keep talking to him, he might give me something. No, he'll give me something after I beat the Abyss Watchers. That's right. Well. Let's see if I actually got the Coiled Sword or not. Let's, let's talk to uh, Peabody. Oh, that. The only guy who actually came back. Yeah, ain't got the coiled sword yet. Well, there's some places it could be. Yeah, the, uh... Kaz's adventure with the infusing thing. Very adventuresome. Yep, hey, Merrick. Mr. Ishgard himself. Mist could pass. Coiled sword. Nope, undead hunter charm. Well, I, in the randomizer settings, I said that this could be a requirement because I can do it. I got a life ring. Nice. Over here, there's a crystal goblin who I shall make dead with my sword. Chaos gem. That is not what it normally drops, I don't think. I have to do tree jump again. I'm gonna fuck it up a bunch because I did it so perfectly my first time. I knew that was bad coming on the delivery. Tree jump! There we go. Or a Titanite scale. Hi, right. I'm Harold. Hello, Kaz. Medium heal. So where's the damn coiled sword at? One of the people could be selling it. Otherwise, I've forgotten it in an obvious space. I do have a spoiler sheet, so I can look it up if I so choose. The only merchant right now is Grandma. Okay, Andre. Get that thing off. Not gonna need magic for a while. I could need this. Magic weapon, huh? Sure. This is a pump of rum. Huh.
I forget if dung pie is a pickle pea. Ah, uh, you can either pay 3,000 or 1,000 for a Lothric Knight shield. Great Corvian Scythe is a great weapon, by the way. Very fun. 10,000 <laughs> yeah, for a for a crossbow. Ashen. Yeah, I have no idea what spear ornaments are for. Well, up we go. There's only one place I can go. Although, speaking of... Hey, Kaz, I'm going to jump into the on-air, and you can hang out with me if you want. Yes, DLC, it's, uh, the spear is for uh, the monk. The fake monk fight that I won't be able to do because I have to play offline when I'm using a randomizer. It's a great fight. Mm. Yeah, sure. Come at your, uh, come at your pace. There's several items to get here. Although I should get naked. I'll keep the sword. There's nothing over here, I'm fairly sure. Man, I, look how filthy I am. I love it. Yep, you're just allowed to go over here. Now, the rolls into the Firekeeper grave are very annoying. We'll see if I lose my ember that way. Yeah, the scabbard's a little floaty. World Sword! Hey! Hobble's Armor, too. Big armor in this game, not as good unless you're using a heavy weapon, in which case it's, it's pretty good. So, let's see if I remember how to do this. There's one over here, too. Okay. This is the safe way down, the easy way down. This is the treasure way down. And you have to roll from, like, here. I'm alive? Got a follower shield. Can't use it, but I will be able to shortly. How <laughs> you froze Havel's ass to death and nah. My scabbard is romantically attached to me. Now I can bonfire. Okay. Let's... I'm gonna look at a list of Pickle Pea Pump Rum items to see if I can remember. Lightning Urn is one, but that was Lightning Rope Urn, right? Dab. I didn't see a luring skull on the list. Never see the camera whip around like that. It's because I. Nope, a luring skull is on the list. Okay. Well, let's see if this is lightning urn or. Nope, it's lightning urn. Okay, you're on the list. 
You're on the list. So our first goal... I mean, look how nasty my back looks. Give me strengths. Okay. Now I can one hand my sword. Don't one hand your sword too much, kids, you'll go blind. So this is a weapon that I could take to the very end of the game if I wanted to. Especially if I find a hollow gem. Although I would have to find the appropriate coal as well. Thinking about this, Dark Souls 2 has to have a randomizer, right? Could that get me to like that game, or would that get me to hate that game? My love affair with Dark Souls 2 is of a sordid sort. Okay, I think I want to be here-ish. Heavy gem. This is a better blocking shield, so I'll keep it for now. Can't parry, but whatever. Alright, here we go. Making my way downtown. Don't remember the lyrics of that song at all. That's all I remember is the piano. Looking stylish. Gonna go to the high wall, Lothric. Is Henri's sword a Titanite weapon or a Twinkler weapon? Let's find out. It's a Twinkling weapon, which is bothersome. I have some Titanite shards. I could give him the Farron Coal, but I don't know what good that would do me. Fire, raw, poison. I could make something heavy. Pretty be careful. Does Farron do magic and fuse? Nope. Pretty be careful. Okay, well, we go to Lothric. Uh, sh don't have any of these, right? Yeah. I couldn't infuse Henri sword though, so I must have been mistaken. It must natively have the hollow enchantment already. I know it's a luck weapon though. Bowl. This here looks a lot like the Lord Vessel. I never noticed that. And it's got a little coiled sword by it. That's neat. I missed that in my lore playthrough. Ah, oh, thank you for the raid, Cherokee Starfish. We're playing a little Dark Souls 3 randomizer. We are a damnable wizard.
Time for evil dogs. But more especially, there's a pikeman a coming. All right, I'm I'm here. Ah, hi, Kaz. How are Hello. you? I'm I'm doing okay. Bit of a bit of a hassle with my with my toilet. Ah, the, t the toilet hassle. A legendary yeah, hassle. It was, just, it was constantly running. Um, I woke up this well this afternoon. Um, yeah, same. <laughs> not this morning, but I woke up this afternoon to the the sound of like chaos coming from my uh, my bathroom and what's your float broke i well see that's uh that's an interesting question um and i'll i'll get into that more in in a minute <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah you, anyway um but yeah it was it was the sound of running water and this like gurgling squelching noise along with it and i'm like Oh my god, what is happening? And I was hungover, so uh, I didn't really want to deal with it. So I just covered my head and tried my best to like not be able to hear anything. And then, you know, woke up an hour later to the same noise still going. Um, so I might have broken my toilet last night. I don't think there's anything that I could have done to do this, but then I also don't know what's broken. Ah. Um, the thing about this toilet is it has a warp drive in the <laughs> in the tank. <laughs> like, you open up the thing and there's just this, like, technology pile in there, and I'm like, oh my god, did what? You, did your apartment come with an overwrought toilet? Yeah. Because, like... Yeah, all the <laughs> Toilets are like we per toilet the toilet the technology of the toilet, well understood at this point. I I myself have repaired a toilet in the past. Yeah, when the there was a um, I forget what it's technically called, but there was like a gigantic washer that um that was in between the tank and the seat. A bidet. Right. <laughs> what? That a bidet? That's the only toilet washer I can think of. No, 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 no. Not, not like thing that washes, but oh, like washes oh. in the little spacers. Oh, thing. yeah. Was it made yeah. of? Was it made of yeah, grease? It was... It was like that. No, but it was. It was made of a substance that over time just sort of corrodes. Mm. Um, yeah, and that, it was corroded. That was your your seal. Yeah. Um. So it's that was that was really uh weird and frustrating and nasty and i had to get a new one it, easy enough right like this part no longer works get a replacement part you know put the put the thing back together there's like a floater attached to a stick yep the water no so, the water level is low it pulls on the lever yeah it's classic that, that was uh that was pretty straightforward stuff back when i repaired that toilet um it required multiple trips to the hardware store because i kept finding different things that were broken but you know, it was fine. But this thing, with its goddamn warp drive, I'm like, look, <laughs> I am not Star Trek. I have never seen one of these before in my life. I can't even, like, it, it takes up almost the entire tank is the other thing, so I can't even, like, reach or look around. So like, I can't find where the noise is coming it from. It must be like, some kind of pump that just pulls water right out of the, uh, the water line. Does the bowl fill up rather quickly? Like, or is it, is there a wait time like a normal toilet? There is, uh, there is a wait time, but the the flush is like dramatic. Okay, Mastasol like, has described this as a overpressure toilet. Yeah, when when I hit the the lever and in well when it's working anyway, that like it moves, it moves so much water that the air pressure of the room changes, and sometimes it like will open a door elsewhere in the apartment. Yeah, you <laughs> sounds like... sounds like you've got a cursed toilet, my friend. <laughs> Someone put a well, toilet curse on you. Yeah. Unfortunately, this also means that um, I, I I mean they I I put in a maintenance request and they don't have the part, so I have to wait until Monday uh, when they can like they can get the part from somewhere. Is it is it going to be continue to be cursed for the next day and a half then? No, it's going to be off until then. <laughs> like we we disconnected the lines. And well, it stopped, like, okay, the, the intake line is is off. 
the I can't imagine they shut off the outlet line. <laughs> Oldest trick well, in the book is if you need to manually flush a toilet, just go get a pitcher of water. Bucket of water. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So at least you're not living. You're, at least you're not having to go elsewhere to use a toilet, because that would be problematic at this given juncture. Yeah, that would that would be kind of exciting. It's like, how much of your life are you willing to risk to like <laughs> for a toilet? Huh. But I mean, if that shit ever happens to me, I have a bucket. Man. That like, that that shit ever happens to? Yeah. If that particular uh, shit ever happens, <laughs> I'm prepared. Well, it, bucket's a good tool to have, man. I there's just nothing else that does what this does. I've had, I used to have a thing for camping that was just a a toilet seat attached to like a walker shaped thing. And its oh, purpose for um... was to transform any five gallon bucket into a latrine. So hello Jens. Slow9 is also here. We got the triumph right. on. I didn't know that there was a randomizer for this game until earlier today, and then all of a sudden you started <laughs> streaming, and I was like, oh, alright. I didn't know that there was one. I imagined there had to be one. So, I was reading about a, a uh, full overhaul mod called Cinder. Yeah, that's what got me thinking about this, was uh, Cinderbozo was streaming that earlier today, and I watched... That was probably where that came from. Yeah. In as well. I, I watched about 20 minutes of it, thought... This is interesting and weirdly designed in that way that mods often are, where clearly it was like one person doing it, and yeah. they had lots of weird ideas. They but ideas. It, it looked interesting enough that I stopped watching so that I could eventually decide to do it myself. I think that would be ideal for me because I already forget everything about this game, so having it like presented to me again just with all the facts changed sounds kind of cool. I, uh, yep. my memory of this game is all muscle. <laughs> like, I don't, my, my super memory isn't, isn't great. Like, in my game. I, 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 so I, I think we, like, mentioned this a day or two ago, where I said, like, you know, I've only played Dark Souls 3 one time, and then I actually thought about it, and looked, and it's like, no, I have three characters. Like, how did I forget this? <laughs> like, no, I've, I've, I've actually played through the game three times to completion, but... Have you ever played the DLC? I, I think... Yes, I, I, I have... Okay. The, I, I think I was hanging out with you during it, so... Ah, did you... I, didn't, I know somebody who didn't do the Ringed City DLC, which might have been it. No, I, 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 I was there with, on, on the Slave Knight fight, so... Right, right, yes! It's all coming back to me. Again, like, I, I don't remember that, but, like, I, I didn't remember that at the time, but now I remember it. It's like, it's like Dark Souls 3 had locked away the memories of Dark Souls 3. It's like you'd be there and you wouldn't even know why, except that's Dark Souls 2. Yeah. <laughs> Bring up the Evil Eye plus 2. Hell yes. Ah, uh, one of the settings in the randomizer was include new game plus rings into the... Thing. I Ooh. I like I like that because that's a because Ring of the Evil Eye plus two is like real healing. Right? Yeah, like, it's gonna be pretty good. And Honorary Sword <laughs> just has Regen on it, which I didn't know. <laughs> good starting. Yeah, we've we've got pretty good setup right now. Goodness, I see a dozen names on the the credits for the Cinders mod, but it's like you know, person in, for icons, person for. Oh, one person for the item randomizer. Mm. Ha. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, great magic yeah, weapon. So Can I use that? I played um, I played one overhaul mod of Dark Souls called Daughters of Ash. Yes. And that was apparently like a pretty big deal. Um, I I mean I basically liked it. <laughs> I. It was kind of weird. Like. I disagreed with a lot of it, but I enjoyed how ambitious it was. Yeah, I, I never figured out, for instance, how to, like, find Black Knights. There's apparently a way to do that. Hmm. And, like, a different ending. But I don't know what, it, what that is. I'm like, oh. oh, I just can um, cast Great Magic Weapon. Sort of kind of cool. But no, the, the really gratifying thing for me about um, playing through Daughters of Ash and doing what I did and experiencing what I experienced <laughs> was, like, I later... Uh, watched a YouTube video by this mensch named Jacob Geller. 
and it's about Daughters of Ash. And I'm like, oh, neat. I've played that. Let's mm -hmm. uh, let's see what YouTuber thinks about it. And apparently, like, he had an extremely hard time with it because he went into the game um, with, like, getting a dex weapon in mind and just, like, doing that as his thing before he had uh -oh. ever, like, found one. And so, like, all of his weapons were trash. And he had a really hard time, and I'm like... Oh no. I'm sorry, you didn't do what I did. <laughs> like, because... and I attribute my success with Daughters of Ash to my playthrough of Dark Souls in the first place. Where you... you where, just... Like, if you become tough. No and no, yo. I just... didn't know anything and admitted that I didn't know anything, and so, like, let the game be what it is. Um, now, that that had mixed results, as I saw um, this past year watching myself play through it again. Mm -hmm. But, like, one of the things that it genuinely instilled in me is, like, was the ability to adapt to situations like the ones that Jacob had this hard time with and I just sort of easily dealt with. Like, I had forged myself in the, in the furnace of being bad at Dark Souls enough that I was, like, okay at it, even when it's completely changed up and different. Earth Seeker. What's the the I mean the saying? The first step in being good, something is kind of being kind of bad at something. <laughs> like, is that a saying? Yeah, yeah, a yeah saying. I've heard that before. Oh. Like, I, I mean, yeah, I, I hadn't heard that one. You know, like you, if you're if you're gonna be good at a thing, you gotta start uh, did, somewhere. Did Jake's brother say that in Adventure Time? You, you found the right. <laughs> I thought I, I knew that. I was like, wait a second. I know I heard that. Where did I. Anyways, uh, I thought about killing this awful creature, but I remember that the game gave me some undead hunter charms. Jake oh, had a brother? Jake had a brother. He was an artist. Oh. Okay. I got small Lothric banner. <laughs> so I needed to I needed to awaken that oh, mimic. That was, that was, yeah, that was a key item. <laughs> it was a key item. Wow. Sweet. I'm also probably going to have to venture out here for glowing items. Okay, one other thing about Daughters of Ash mod, before I'm done talking about it. Um, in... It kind of makes you do reverse Blight Town. Like, that's the critical path, is reverse Blight Town, and then you, like, end up in the depths, and you finally make it to, like, Lower Bird. You can still do the skip, too, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> But don't, because Lowerberg is like a mid to late game area in, in this mod, which is fun. And like, forcing the map to be different in that way was kind of neat. Uh, but when you finally get there, um, Capper Demon's Arena is instead a, it's not, there's no fog wall. And it's just like there's a bonfire there now. And it's like, oh, okay, well, what's this? And if you go further into uh, Lowerberg, Capper Demon is there and you fight him where like the dogs and, and assassins would be in the base game. But when you beat Capra Demon, he then... The, the music swells, he visibly explodes and goes Super Saiyan, and like, a new boss spawns in and whoops your ass. <laughs> I think it's possible to defeat it, but um, it's like the, the Capricious Tormentor or something. Um, but... If you, if you get killed, then he warps away, and you don't fight him again. Just, I'm gone. Yeah, and it's like, what the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> I can't... I, no, like, no amount of describing it to you will, will be able to recreate the experience of watching the Capper Demon go Super Saiyan, and the <laughs> soundtrack kicks in. <laughs> That's <laughs> a little odd, because it's like... Part of the beauties of Dark Souls is you get to try as many times as you want at things. No. It's, it's, uh, the story continues. Oh. I was going to say, it's not, it's not without precedent. Like, yeah. You do have those pursuer fights in two. You do have the pursuer fights in two. He 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 shows he shows up sometimes, but yeah, you don't you fight him on the roof, but then if you lose that time, you you can still fight him just somewhere else. But exactly so. The Capricious Tormentor, I forget his actual name, but I'm calling him that. Um, 
he does show up again, and the item that you get for killing him is the Chthonic Spark, which is the game's warp item. So he had the ability to warp, which is why he could get away from you. Ah, diegetic. Also, the uh, the the way that you usually fight him and and win is um, by getting trapped in uh, in the wizard's tower in, in the archives, the place that's cut off from the others. Because uh, it's warp. So he can't warp out of it. Because <laughs> he can't leave. Love it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I thought there was an that's... item over there. But there wasn't. That's a, good, that's a very good, uh, again, like, story through mechanics is a, is a hell of a thing. Yeah. Man, I, I love it. Oh, Dark King Jeremiah um, can steal your Chthonic Spark, too. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something they probably stole from cut content. The Chaos Blade. Uh, Shiva of the East was supposed to steal it from you. Mmm. Mm. And then you would invade him in the painted world with another blue-eyed orb. Or black-eyed orb. Um, yeah. That was a thing in Demon's Souls. There's the guy who wanted Magic Blade, Mak Magic Sword Makoto in the Shrine of Storms. Yeah. Now that game probably doesn't have a randomizer. That would be a hell of a thing if it did. It probably will eventually. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep making randomizers for all video games, um, even ones where you don't have key items or whatever. Yeah. I mean, if Bloodstained can have one. Yeah, Bloodstained gets to have uh, an official have one. one. Yeah. Which is is, is pretty rad. Uh, yeah, I've been meaning to like talk to someone about Bloodstained. Hmm. Not to your liking, I take it. Well, there's. I really can't get over the fact that it's, like, near pornographic in its dis depiction of the main character. And, I mean, I'm talking as someone who literally wrote real CAD admirers, so I'm fine with, like, video games being actively thirsty and, like, or, or even, like, porno. That's fine. Um, sure. But it's just, she has this pose and walks right up in the, like, menu. You can't get... It's, it's extremely irritating, and <laughs> it put me off of, like, participating in the game at all. So, I don't, I don't know. Probably need to just get over it and say, oh, it's a video game. And... But I, I do think there's a substantial difference between what Bloodstained is and looks like, and, like, I don't know, um, the various, like, nude enemies in, like, Symphony of the Night and Aria of Sorrow. Where it's like, okay, well, yeah, this is clearly depicting, like, a naked lady whose bottom part is a flower or whatever. Um, but it's, like, it's pixels, and it kind of makes it charming instead. Kind of like Leisure Suit Larry way back in the day, where, like, the graphics were, like, you know, two 200 wide or whatever. And you did have dude scenes, and it's just like, eh, who cares? They're, like, little pixel goblins. I remember being, uh, I, 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 I still to this day have not played Order of Ecclesia, um, but that game too goes out of its way to... I had kind of had, yeah. No, uh, I had yeah. had my fill of it with um, Order of Ecclesia, <laughs> right? Because, oh, well, in order to obtain her powers, um, she has a sigil on her back, right? And so... It has to, like, be exposed to air in order to absorb magic because they couldn't... Somehow, these wizards, like, who can, who can like, use runes and make real magic, and the magic doesn't work through clothes. I can defeat your summoning sigil with, like, half an inch, like, not even an inch of cloth. Just, like, ah, nope. Cover it up. Like, what if... I don't know. What if she gets covered in mud or something? Would that would have ruin the magic? <laughs> no, no. Net, like... Mud is natural. You have to find an unnatural thing to yeah, like, oh, okay. it. A tiny net. It's got to be a tiny <laughs> net. A tiny net <laughs> or what some gek. Why did Shinoa's enemies try to, to do that? <laughs> it's just... Whatever. And, you know, she has to expose her, her back tattoo with a, an extremely, extremely low cut on the, um, on the dress. Uh... Oh, also, I mean, 
That that also had like problems with Shinoa's character, right? Because apparently the process by which you um can achieve the rune magic um also wipes out your emotions, so she's like an emotionless person, which I don't know. I don't really like that in a protagonist. Well, that game it's sucks. Like so we don't. One step away from just making her a real doll and being done with it. That game sucks. It's very irritating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just so happens that the the game itself is pretty bad too, even without all these yeah, flaws. That's why. Oh. Okay. It's an item. It sucks so much that. I don't really want to hear about it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, got... Okay. Uh... Okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I know we're playing Dark Souls Three here, but I'm... how many times do I need to t like do color commentary on watching a skeleton man be hacked? Nah, it's fine to talk other. about stuff. I was just. Uh... <laughs> no, I, I, look. I, I, I can I can do that endlessly. Uh, you got a nice hat here. It's a good start. Yeah, we got we got that. We got our, we got our good hat. <laughs> Immediately <wide open. laughs> Okay, one thing. Oh, okay, but back to back to this video game. Um, there appear to be lots of cliffs, and I think I think Sekiro finally got the cliff thing right enough, or like to my liking. Where you would like fall off and just sort of. Be yeah, it's the like and... the Zelda rules of like okay, you know, minor penalty, just keep on going. Part of part of the difference is this is that game's a platformer, so it had to do that. Yeah. That yeah, game that could not a, get away with with line. doing it. Oh, Lloyd Shivering. Yeah, well, I think that these games don't get away with it. I think there's. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a flaw in them. Like, hey, cliffs, cliffs wax and wane in these games. They yeah, giveth, they have... taketh away. <laughs> I... You gotta kick him twice to be able to repost him. Ah, the boot. Their shield is big, it must it. be kicked twice. Oh, yeah, no, you, you gotta, um... Gotta build up his, uh, his stagger gauge. Yeah. His posture meter, there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just wearing, it looks like I'm just wearing, like, a t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 you literally do. You got that, and you got your nice helm, and if you wanted a hovel shield, you just sort of have it. Yeah, I took off my heavy armor because I put on the stick so that I could use great magic weapon. Ooh, the stick. Human drags. I won't use that for a long time. No. See, I'm, at least you already do have the key that lets you move on from here. It's just you don't want to miss uh, obvious... Yeah, it could be... Anything, so I, it's it's a randomizer. You gotta collect everything. Yeah. I could yeah, just. You're not gonna like screw up. And got the key. I'm leaving. Well, I got crystal soul spear, so maybe I should mm. stick to sorcery. Finding Henri's sword made me want to try a luck build, but there's there's luck builds in this. Yes. On, yes. Uh, anything with the hollow infusion or Henri's sword uses luck as one of its damage stats. The speed run actually uses Henri's sword. Oh, that's cute. You know, luck damage scaling. Just... Yes. Do you feel lucky? I mean, luck is a stat at all, really. Yeah, they, they had luck in the game because it's weird. Okay, I'm not... I thought I was getting Estus charges this whole time, but no, that's Ring of the Evil Eye. I tried to click down on my stick to crouch because I've been playing too much Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Blue Blood Sword. That scaled off luck, too. And Demons' Souls. Go. I want to fight one of you. You. You one there. Enemy, please. Axe Boy. You shall be my opponent. Oh, and now I'm just having flashbacks to Dark Souls 2. And how 20 enemies are on top of your head already. Yes. Did that get a randomizer? It has to. Like, I've never seen one, but... It can't have avoided it, right? Right, like if 3 has one, 2 has to have one. I know people mod it. Uh, Dark Souls 2 mod. Like, I used a lighting engine mod for that game when it was new. Alright, uh, new today, we have Metal Souls. Dark Souls 2 boss music replacement, which replaces... 
the the boss music with heavy metal. I mean that that's appropriate. I don't hate that. Um. Clean UI mod, okay. Um, DS2 fix, uh huh. Oh, they, they fixed it. They fixed it. Well, I'm interested <laughs> in the fixed version of that game. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I did have to come here. Small doll is a required item. Dark Souls 2 Dead Zone fix, which fixes the camera slightly. Um. DS2 fix. Uh, current fixes. Durability bug. Uh huh. Ooh, not a not one. a bug. Good that's one. a feature. But okay. <laughs> Wait. Um, the game is supposed to subtract more durability if you're running at 60 frames per second instead of 30. I know that's, it's that's by design. That's by. <laughs> it's what they said, which is probably okay. not true. But <laughs> well, that, that is a lie. So. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, basically, it has a couple bug fixes for crashing, and then that, and that's it. Well, you know what? Um, they uh, they didn't fix it. I want to say it. They have to put more work into the to fix Dark Souls too. No, there's there's there's, there's a little bit more uh, HD summon signs. Um, ah, yes. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <have> the... <laughs> Shit! I forgot. That's this. Okay. Woo. <laughs> this game you hold down. You hold down in this game. You don't just press B to like a... This, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, you're not dead. Yeah, I barely lived. I'm not dead. Not, not dead. dead. <laughs> I'm fine. On. I see a randomizer, yep. I see it. I see a... Uh, you have Dark Souls 2... Randomizer. There's an item loop. There's two of them. No, there's okay. There's one of them says obsolete. What's the other one say? Um, what I would actually want out of a, a mod to Dark Souls 2 mm -hmm. is to somehow have like everyone gets a peruser. That was the singularly greatest experience of my own playthrough of Dark Souls 2, and I want to be able to share that with people somehow. Just, just, just get perusers all the time. Get pursued. Yeah. By, you gotta do a... It, we've, we've come up with a new game mode. It's called Anti-Co-op. You get a nemesis. You <laughs> you and one other human player are each other's nemesi, <laughs> which means you have to... You get to invade each other at given moments to try to be as bothersome as possible. Yes. That would That would be great. Or, ooh, hey, instead of making a mod whatsoever, we just, like, form the peruser network where we all play Dark Souls 2 and put on the mantle of, of the pursuer's outfit and stuff. And then, mm -hmm. you know, name ourselves the peruser. And so, like, shout -outs there's a whole lot more people getting invaded by the peruser. Yeah, shoutouts to Tactful Ogre, by the yeah, way. Yeah, tact Tactful uh... Ogre had done that for me when I was playing. <laughs> one, of, one of my <laughs> oldest friends. <laughs> Even at one point. God. <laughs> like, getting summoned by the Mirror Knight the when Mirror Knight. I was summoned in another player's world. <laughs> the Mirror Knight <laughs> summon was the most incredible <laughs> moment. Think like... you can escape me by going to other players' worlds? <laughs> Fool. You cannot. Okay, I have to jump over there. Got it. Fool. Um... Yeah, peruser. Because <laughs> in, the, in the game, there's an enemy called the Pursuer who lives up to its uh. namesake. <laughs> so, my 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 friend, who's a fan of of, of our streams, made up the Peruser. <laughs> That's exactly his kind of joke too. There's a okay. So, looking at the the, the mods here, there's a bunch of. Uh, Small mods, whatever, uh, quality of life, uh, bloody gore mod, whatever you want, you want. In Dune I haven't seen that yet, but um, apparently, one of these mods is just drop uh, a Half Life One map 
into Dark Souls 2. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Which tells me that apparently the tools for modding Dark Souls 2 are a lot more in-depth than I thought. They're working on... I knew they were working on a Dark <laughs> Souls 1 map editor. There's a map viewer. But... Yeah, I... Does that mean we we can get the uh, the Half Life VR experience in Dark Souls Two and have the AIs and have them talk to you back and forth? <laughs> I, I would hope uh, so. There's a, a Sekiro Death Replacer, which is literally just they went in there and changed the 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 you died to the little death. Yeah, there's lots of those. Uh, that one's that one's easy enough that I can do that. Uh, yeah, just the, you're replacing um, a bitmap. Replace the pictures in Drenglag Castles with pictures of this anime girl. Okay. <laughs> that's the, that's the entire. Ah, that's, okay. That's it, priorities. That's prior. You gotta have the anime girl poison you. That's the yeah. It, it makes the the yeah. It makes the the portraits that poison you. Um. An anime girl who I believe is from Konosuba. Makes sense. Um, what is Konosuba? You don't need to know. <laughs> okay. You're better off it's not doing. It's an anime. Gotcha. You've got it's, it's it's a bad anime. Um. A bad. Fog. Anime. Uh, change all fog walls to Nether portal textures from Minecraft. Uh -huh. uh, so, so they look purpley and. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. Hey, no hating. Do we have one where the like gore gets replaced by like vegetables and flowers, like in um, like in Serious Sam? Because that was the best. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we had we have one that's called like Super Gore, so I don't think that's the one we want. We want the opposite of that. We want the. Just, I loved it so much. You would like explode someone into pumpkins and carrots. And... Excellent. Um. I found a good weapon. I would try to kill the dancer, but sound mod pack for Dark Souls Two. Scholar the first, no, sorry, Sim of the first scholar, full of crappy music. I think is funny. Um, Retexturing Estus Flask to look like a blood vial. Um, hey, how come your weapon buff is much faster than mine? That is that is not fair. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Playable enemy mod. Could you play as a mimic? It looks like you can, like, effectively play as any enemy. Yes, including a mimic. Holy shit. Mimic quest. Spawn enemy bosses in any area location can be played. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try hey, to... That, that leads me to believe we might eventually have um, my mod of Dark Souls where every boss also has a gargoyle. Mmm. Yeah, you know, like there's uh, playing as the smelter demon, playing as uh, one of those dwarves that moves really slowly, playing as one of them wizards from the, the shrine of Mana, so playing, would... as, playing oh. as the Chandra. Or... So you only get to play as 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 hateful creatures. Um, playing as uh, the last giant, playing as a mimic. It's gotta be in here, right? Ooh, hold on. We got playing as one of those skeleton necromancers. Yeah. Skeletomancer. But yeah, just, uh, I'm having fun looking through random mods here. Uh, always human. Wait, wasn't there even a like an in-game tool for that? There was a ring, I think. Yeah. There was a ring yeah. in this game for it. I don't know if that ring was in that game. Oh, oh. There's, there's like a hollow ring in this one that does it. I think that's a mod that adds the binoculars. Uh. The bon bino boosting bon bon back. Back, yeah. <laughs> make the game good again. <laughs> yeah, make the game <laughs> so. I think that we we call that a, a yeah then item randomizer. Inspired by Hot Pocket Remixes, Dark Souls 1. Wow. This game was very... 
oh. similar to the god damn it we have we have a a Shalquar mod which just turns her into a more ta a, a, a more a different cat that's it. Just, just like a tabby mm. cat. I, I don't know how much I like that. What I want is a mod that makes your stamina increase fifty percent faster. Oh, uh, there's a mod that makes the chloranthi ring worse. Oh, ah, sorry. that's the opposite of what I want because the chloranthi ring already sucks <laughs> ass. Mm -hmm. It's literally, it literally is just reduce the region on the chloranthi ring. That's the Can entire we have mod. One where... Like your shins are are stronger, or <laughs> negate fall damage unless you die. Yeah. Right. Give you the uh, give you the demon souls cat ring, which the demon souls cat ring. It didn't actually. I don't know if it, it um, might have made your fall length longer, but its main purpose was you would either take no fall damage or you would die. That's the. T that's what the cat um, ring did. Yeah, I would. Okay. Gotta get that, uh, that tie in. Yeah, we get the. We get the Can the, I have the $5 foot long? Like, does it also, like, live update the portraits with, like, advertisements? <laughs> yeah, like. Oh, I'm sorry, there, there's, there's also a competing Coca Cola as this flask. Mm. Well, you gotta. Well, everybody knows that it's gotta be, there's gotta be a Sunny D one. That's like the. the it's usually that's people say what it is already, right? Yeah. Like, what would you even change? You put a label um, on it. It's unlabeled, unauthorized. Unauthorized. Really? I, think, I think I would release the mod and just have it be empty. Doesn't so when you go to it, call it <laughs> I would call it the Sunny D mod. Yeah. Just the, the, the little bear story where you have a fur coat already. That might be um, how the cat ring works in this game, too. I honestly don't remember. Like, this is the game I have the least encyclopedic knowledge about. Like, either... Like, I might know more about Dark Souls 2 than this game. So, I've been passing over them, but there's a good two dozen different, um... reshading. Yeah, those were... Those are all old, too. They had that back in the day. Because they wanted to reshade it to make it look like... Because the trailer for Dark Souls 2... Yeah, the lighting engine mm -hmm. got... Like, the pre... Like, the alpha gameplay footage they showed at, uh... At, at E3 was very moody looking, and then they realized, shit, we have to get this to run on a 360. And yeah. it, it uh, got very changed. Ah, thank you for the Black Bow of Ferris. Um, uh, Sin City mod that makes the game just look like all black and white. Mm. But that's it. There Start was a game for the Wii that, that was that. Mad World! Mad World, yeah. Mm. Um, that was kind of an excellent game. You had, had a chainsaw. Uh, John DiMaggio oh. being a rough badass. He basically can. Like. Replace the f replace the Dark Souls 2 boss soul image with the Dark Souls 1 boss soul image. Um, I, I love how small these are. Well, like, somebody really just wanted this one tiny thing and then... They went and did it. I could summon the master. Um. Can't follow me in here, nerds. Yes, stand politely. Turn back and forth in respect. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get him? No. <gasps> well, I mean, but mm, he's just over he's there. Gonna, gonna him. Shit. Oh wait, the guy. I could fight the guy. I can skip cutscenes um, again because I don't have wacky animations anymore. Hovel recolored to pink. I'm into that. Okay, Vord, how you doing? You gotta get up in his booty meat. I think Dark Souls 3 was the one that I had the like easiest time on first timing bosses. Oh, I remember being perfectly confused by Udix Gunder, uh, and then like I came out victorious, and I'm like, "What the hell happened?" <laughs> well, you had at that point at least played some of Bloodborne, I think, which is like, so your instincts oh, were sharpened. Yeah. The great pumpkin. 
it changes the Katarina armor to. Hmm. Good. Um, okay, wait. Now that I can get real answers, what the hell does Frostbite actually do? Uh, does damage, decreases uh, stamina regeneration, makes you move slower. Okay. At least I think that does the last one. It definitely does the first two. Yeah, I thought it was just different bleed. It mostly is, but it also does make your stamina suck. Yeah, I remember kind of liking that one sword that had a, a frostbite effect. So it's a rather good sword. And I got a bow. The white birch bow is a heavy, heavy strength bow. I think. Or is it? I don't know. Or is it a magic bow? I think it's a strength bow in uh, Demon Souls. A sorcerer swallowed by the abyss, huh? Yes. Um, so I've passed over maybe a half dozen I added the Buster Sword mods. <laughs> that's all That's all they are, is just a, a lot of Buster Swords. Um, Do they all and, replace... Can you use it to, to train up blood magic? <laughs> Here's a banner. I found in a mimic. Please come to me, imps. I want a mimic to pick you up. Yes. I know it can't, but, you know. It's like that thing from, uh... Color of Magic. Two flowers chest. Whoa. What, yeah, what, what if, um... Or, like, the, the chest in Paper Mario. Mmm. Where it's, like, it just opens in two places, right? So, you have, like, you go to a mimic and it eats you, and then a different mimic somewhere else spits you out. And that's, yeah. That's the actual okay, I thought you meant the cursed chest, which I'm always See? thinking about because they're my background on my desktop. Yeah. <laughs> it could be that, too. You open up a mimic and it just goes, <laughs> yeah, the luggage. That's what Two Flowers thing is called. Yes. I don't actually like the color of magic at all, but I like the chest. Um. And I like uh, Rincewind because he's such a shitty fucking wizard. It's true. I watched Excalibur today. The John oh, Borman the, film. The one from like the 80s? Yes. That and Merlin is... in that one is a fucking wizard. <laughs> he has all of the traits that we associate with wizards. <laughs> like, he just kind of does shit arbitrarily. He wanders in and out. Yeah. He doesn't really care about morality. He just kind of does yeah. whatever's asked of him. It's like... He's... <laughs> just great. And he gets lured into a cave and turned into a rock. Yep. Okay, so I have, like, vague memories of one night when I was a little kid, and I was up too late, and there was this movie on the television that I think was about someone learning to do magic. And he had to, like, intuitively understand an innate moral code of not hurting people with your magic. And the specific scene that I'm, uh, that I'm remembering is, like, the, the young wizard being presented with this situation where, like, guys with guns are after him. And... He casts a spell to make their guns, like, br burn bright orange, and so they drop them. And he gets chastised, because that hurt them. And I'm like, it, ah, I can't even remember. I might even be making it up completely. I, I might have dreamed such a thing. Uh, I'm seeing a pattern here. Mm -hmm. Everything I trade to the crows gives me a tight night scale. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Look, this is what we got in stock. It's like, you want a tight night scale? Come over here and uh, give us one of them Pupper Rumps uh, pickle peas. Oh. We got tight night scales on clearance. They're filling up our warehouse. We'll give you a deal. Okay. I'm gonna have um, to find a dog now because I jumped down at the wrong spot. So, looking through basically all of the Dark Souls 2 mods. I did not see any. There, there, there were zero nude mods. Ooh. Um, a thousand like, I reskinned this weapon to look like a cool weapon, like Guts's sword or, you know, the Buster sword or something like oh, that. Oh right, I have a. Uh, I hate to interrupt, but I got a pale tongue, which means this guy showed up. Oh sh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's wearing ridiculous. He's bald. They didn't give him hair. Because <laughs> he wears a hood. <laughs> uh, but looking in, 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 there were a couple mods that changed the outfits the Emerald Herald had to be more HD, but none of them were, you know, it's just different There's... outfits. Huh. Um, in three, I'm seeing first person cam. That's a. Mm. <laughs> that sounds kind of sickening. Have you ever um, done like Star Fox first person mode? Because it just it's it's vomit inducing. Yeah, I had the storyteller staff as a random drop. I don't know if this is better than Heretic Staff is just uh, a reskin of the Sorcerer's Staff. It's normal. Uh, Storyteller staff has the poison spores, but I think its spell buff sucks. But if I can use it, I might poison people with it. Anyway, sorry, I completely interrupted you because of things happening in a VidCon. No, 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 you, you, you have priority. There's, 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 <laughs> a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a game happening. And I use quick attack. I'm, I'm just kind of looking at different mods because I didn't know that these existed until today. So I'm, you know... Oh my god, okay, so item randomizer, Dark Souls 3, and auto equip. Yes, that is one I considered using. For, there's two randomizers that I found for this. This one works like Hot Pocket Remixes one. The mm -hmm. other one is a lot weirder. It's like a library that, it's like a wrapper library, and whenever you pick up an item, it randomly picks an item that you have not yet received and gives it to you. Um, and there's an uh, addition. There, there's an additional script to immediately equip whatever you pick up. That see, that was the part that I was like, wait a minute. Like I, the idea of like the auto equip, where you're like, all right, we're going through great, everything's fine, and then you pick up a dagger, and you're like, no. Ugh. It sounds sounds kind of goofy. So okay, I guess I'm investing in intelligence now. Because I found no. I want to try out Snap Freeze. Um. Yeah. And then there's a one of the most popular mods on here is Dark Souls Three Mod Engine. Yep, you need that to run mm. all the other mods usually, and yeah, it yeah. keeps you from getting banned for using mods. Strong. Okay, so I guess I can make my buffs a little weaker by using the story. Kind of miss being a data fraud. <laughs> Ooh, enemy randomizer for Dark Souls 3. Who guess? Half um Okay, why would you Now here's here's the gameplay change that is, just makes me laugh. Um it's called enemy onslaught. Duplicate every enemy in the game. The game already does that in Dark Souls 2. Yeah, that's just called Dark Souls 2. I don't know what's yeah, that's, Dark that's Souls That's how so. I learned about the extinction <laughs> mechanic. Um, can, be, <laughs> can be played with one clone per enemy or up to four, including bosses. Four beds of chaos, you say. So you want... Okay, hold on. How many gargoyles are in the gargoyle fight? I mean, Dark Souls 2 already had that gargoyle fight that was like... Yeah, was a lot. Yeah, yeah. So it's between okay, 40 yeah, and can. and 80 gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. The two, it's the 2 chains mod. Mm. Uh, 16 or more of your game. <laughs> yeah. 28 gargoyles doesn't have time for this. Uh, what weapon do I want to use here? Oh, right that's a mod I probably should have expected to see earlier. Mm hmm? Uh, it's just called Poise. Yeah, one of the earliest things for this game was uh, you can just go into Cheat Engine and like there's a flag that determines whether you get your Poise frames or not. And the thing that made everybody angry when they thought Poise just flat didn't work was if you just turn that on, Poise works exactly like it does in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> uh, uh, better hair colors. Mm. This, hmm. this lets you have like a much farther set. Oh boy, uh, there's a there's a mod called Edge Lord. What does this do? 
Uh, it's just a reshader. That's that's bloodborne weapons. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Can you give me the pizza cutter? I'm really gig. I want to have to play that game someday. Oh, it gives you yeah. It gives you and trick weapons. Okay. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I tried I'm playing. Going to play it again. I tried playing it when I had like a free whatever trial of playing it through netcode, but that it wasn't fulfilling. It was like having off-brand Bloodborne. <laughs> oh. Like the, because of like how the like, off the netcode it, stuff. It was not. It wasn't bad. It actually was pretty good, but you were still. It it was still there. It's it's like it's like trying to make a fake sugar. You can get close, but you're never going to get there. Mm, okay. I found this thing, which I think explodes. Um, so every one of the games I've seen so far has a poorly translated mod. Yeah. Which is the the like joke where they yeah they throw they run through Google, Google Translate, translate and mm -hmm. pull it back out. Um, Dark Souls Three has a lot of. Uh, also has these like you know, uh, we added in a bunch of like armor of somebody we liked or weapons we liked. The two I'm seeing most commonly here are Hiratamata and the Faram set. Yep. Uh... And I can feel that the Faram set's my favorite armor hands down. So you know. Wait, wait the Faram set. It's the, it's the it's the it's the it's the box art cover for armor two. from for two. It has like the like kind of like uh, cape or cloak that's like very white and wooly. Uh, it has this like actual like blue cape down to your legs. Uh, very stylish. It's very greenish. It's like teal. Find... Yeah, teal. You find it super late in the game, and it's like the box art guy. Yeah, it's so. it's in a. Hole. You have to fall into a hole in that awful room in Lothric, not Lothric, Dring Lake Castle, where you wake, open up doors by killing people in front of golems. And if you open the wrong doors, it's got ruined sentinels behind them. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what the, the set that you're talking about, but I remember that experience now of, like, killing to make the soul go to a thing. I hated that. Um, it was terrible. I hated that whole place. Mm -hmm. The, uh... What else do we have? We've got... I think it just involved infinitely respawning men outside the, the front. <laughs> just infinite of them. It's infinite men. Uh... Mm -hmm. These gears Ooh. remind me. Uh, you go first, gents. Because I'm going to go on a different tangent. Highly visible enemy health bars that change the color gradient to, to try to be, uh, like, not be like a red green. Ah, colorblind help this. That's colorblind. good. So. They are oft forgotten people, the colorblinds. Yeah. I got a present. But, uh, ba 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 ba. I saw a thing that reminded me of you recently, Kaz. Because I got with the YouTube algorithm recommended me a video of a fella just stress testing a steel axle with Lego parts. Like connecting gear assemblies and Lego bits with Lego engines with a Lego compatible steel axle until he could get it to break. And we made me think, engineering, gears, steel. This is Kaz's video. Uh, yeah. Did, did I make it, actually? <laughs> it, it was, it, huh. It's a weird German dad type video where he doesn't talk, but I heard him talk at one point. He was definitely German. You know that mm. genre of YouTube video where just a weird German dad doing something using his engineering degree or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Like the crossbow channel. Added in Dark Souls weapons. Or slingshot Dark channel. Souls weapons. Right, Chapter, sorry. Added in Dark Souls weapons. That's the fifth Neurotomata one I've seen. Neurotomata um, was so popular they put it in. They gave you the butt pants in in fourteen. They gave you the whole of it in fourteen. You can get the whole when you 
which is everything. which is to say the butt pants. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> Truth. That's the, that's the special pants to make your butt bigger. Uh, mm. so there's surprisingly few pants in Final Fantasy XIV. Most of the most of the like armor goes really far down, and most of the boots go really high up. So they just say "fuck it" to pants. And... I wear pants though. My tog is I have a Roland Berry Red because it's cheap. Uh, best man's uh, suit. It kind of looks like a maitre d', Ooh. but whatever. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean, I've been sending my retainers on ventures for three years, so I've got a lot of dies at this point. Ooh. I could, I could give you the good shit. Yeah, maybe. You could, you could be shiny. I let my sub. I let. I. I have like a week left on my sub, and I turned off the auto thing because I was like, I'm gonna give myself a week to get back into this game. And if I don't, I'll wait until I get the itch again. So you've got a week to convince me to keep playing Final Fantasy XIV, the story so far. Oh, I'm, I'm the worst person to ask to do, to do that. Even though I'm going to play it later tonight. <laughs> Truly. You know. I have so much contempt for that game as a game. I, 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 I can help you out with, uh, with that side of it. Let's, let's... See, I... I... I can find some stuff we can enjoy. Barrel. Uh, oblivion guard enemies. It places some enemies with oblivion guards. Ah, excellent. I was. Uh, <laughs> what's an oblivion guard? The guard from. Stop right there, criminal scum! You violated the law. Oh. Uh, pay the fine or, or go to jail. Yeah, they then were... pay with your blood. Remember that? No, you don't, because I have only I have perfect memory of that game. Uh... Demonstrably. Uh, I think I also saw one that added in uh, Skyrim guards as well. Who cares about those guys? They're, they're not as fun. Um, oh, ooh. man. I did play Skyrim for a hot minute, and one of my experiences was, like, at some point you become, like, the duke of a town or something. Uh, Thane, I believe. Thane, sure. <laughs> um, but, like, I had... Like, previously to that, I had transformed into a werewolf in front of somebody. So that's like a crime, I guess? Yes, and you can convince them to lay off because you're sane. It's like... <laughs> yeah, well, what, what actually happened was, like, I had been labeled a criminal. Then later I became a sane, and as soon as I walked out of the room from the cutscene where I became, like, you know, Duke of Ta like the mayor, like... The, the guards just stared at me. They like <laughs> looked at me, like right at me, and like started following me and shit. And they're like, "Hey, you!" And then I'm like, "What?" And they didn't say anything. Like they wanted to arrest me still, but they couldn't because I was the boss. Just everybody, <laughs> just I really want to arrest you so bad. <laughs> it was just it was such a perplexing experience because like, you, I know you. I'm like, what? Let me see what your you face. About? You are the one from my dreams. Getting some mileage out of my ring here. Um. I tried to parry that, but I don't have a parry shield, but it just missed anyway, so I guess I was lucky. Nice. <laughs> These guys are skeletons. So they are dropping Carthus Rouge. Oh, does that give you the, the blood effect? Yeah, blood effect. It used to be... Mm. Uh, wrong, wrong thing. Did I equip the bow? No, this game has three swapsies. That's right. <laughs> Skyrim's not a terrible game. I, I, I know how to have fun with Skyrim, although... I, I think it is a terrible game, but I kind of... I don't know. It was... I, the, it's, kind of, the weird part to me is how popular it was. Yes, because it was... These, these experiences are things I recognize as not for me, and, like, kind of janky at, on the best and brightest of days. But, like, how this one got this huge cultural impact behind it and what 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 made Skyrim, Skyrim 
what, what the thing that made Skyrim that was it was a big adventure that was very accessible. It didn't have a lot of very complicated systems. You just kind of went and went. You could, you could kill things with your sword. It was well designed for consoles. It did a lot of things that the fantasy genre at that point was not typically known for. Like leveling up in Oblivion is a fucking nightmare. Whereas leveling up in <laughs> Skyrim is really easy and just kind of goes. Yeah. It's just like a very it's a very it's a very step inable uh, uh, experience. It's like everything's designed to be cozy and easy to get into, and then it mm -hmm. goes. So if you yeah. if you either picked it up and played it for a few hours and put it down, you could have a this door is usually locked, isn't it? Um, you could have a good experience doing it, or you could get hooked because it's easy to get into, and then really get into it. Well, I, I remain baffled. Mm. Because I, I, like, because I had played Fable at all, it just didn't have any of that for me anymore, you know? Uh, Fable is a like, cursed game. <laughs> a cursed a game by a cursed game. man. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Cursed. I, I adore that game so much, and it is so bad. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I think Fable benefited from, like, being released when it was, also. Yes. Uh, it, like, it, uh, it was it seriously the only game in town for, like, a tenth of the things that it did. So, and they, not the other way around, like, 90% of the things that it did. Yeah, like, the, the Xbox itself was a console that was very low in any games of that nature at the time. Super. And then, like... You know, it, it, it was like, whoa, this is this unique experience of, uh, I can, I can go around and be an adventurer and do anything I want, uh, as long as that anything I want is within the binary of the bestest, holiest, goodest person and person who murders babies. Like, yeah, those are your two options. Yeah. Hope, you, hope you like them. Plus, that game, I think that game did was. <laughs> that was before people knew that Peter Molyneux was a charlatan, <laughs> and he could, that and was, he was still getting was, away with shit back then. <laughs> that was, yeah. you're, you're right. That was that was that was the game that made people go, well, "Hold on, weren't there a lot more things?" And like, "Oh, but the game has so much stuff." Like, clearly, he didn't, he didn't quite notice at the time. Like at yeah. E3, he said, "You can cut down a tree, and that changes the story." And years later, you'll see the stump. He said that on stage, nobody else on the design team knew that was a fucking thing they were doing, and they all scrambled the jets trying to figure out what the hell they should be doing. <laughs> like, there's, help, 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 help. there's some great story, like, uh, I think it was a Kotaku article about it, about how big of a fucking charlatan that man was, or is, Oh, I, I, I know the one you're talking about. They, they, like, had interviews from people at Lionhead Studios. It was a really, really long yeah. read. It was sympathetic, but at the same time, a total hit piece. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, the, sympathy for all the people putting in these hours that they, they yeah. did. Yeah. For... Balling you, I like him. I like his ideas. I hate what he did to his companies in terms of like. <laughs> he was from a different era of, of programming when it was like mm. a total boys' club and they didn't have to think about that shit just because. Uh, there just weren't women around or people other than white dudes. So it was very jocular. And then mm. when, when when Lionhead got bought by uh, EA, that completely changed. They were had their little studio with a locker room got turned into a major global uh, Right. Yeah, now, yeah. now you have to watch the same HR video that everyone does. The uh Mm -hmm. I um. I do like uh, as a couple of people have said, Shabadoo and Burnhead like it, it, it's as though Peter Molyneux jumped ship to from PC to the Xbox so that nobody would like everyone on the PC already knew he was a charlatan, but, <laughs> but on the Xbox ah. like three reign nobody knows like hey, nobody they don't know <laughs> like Plus, man they didn't act uh, Fable also wasn't their game uh, they had a deal with Microsoft where it was an idea. It was like partially it getting made, but they were having trouble finishing the development. And they're like, "We will pay you to come finish this game." And then it became his. 
So that was like a big weird thing. It's hard to say yeah. what part of it was him and what yeah. part of it was before. And as far as like what the game was like compared to, to Skyrim, it did have that like very direct minimalistic combat. It just kind of worked in a I way that Skyrim's just didn't. I, oh, yeah, fighting in Skyrim is just clicking. <laughs> I think of fighting in... I, I actually liked the combat in Fable, like the rolling and the yeah. magic and the... everything else in the game. Uh, it prided itself on being, like, one-button combat, which sounds like it would be bad, but it's actually kind of great. Okay, can I kill oh, this oh, goblin? you could also, like... Oh, God, I loved this. You could equip weapons that you didn't have the stats for, and you you could you would be all clumsy with them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thing that was later in Demon's oh. Souls and this game. Oh, this game doesn't have that. In this game, correctly lets you look at the move sets of weapons you can't use yet to decide if you want to use them or not. Where's that purple invader? He's coming towards me. It's Mr. I, I know. I've, I've, I've... Yeah. It's Mr. Okay, Poison. What... Mr. Uh, Perry. One more fable story because I always tell this story because I love it. Um, so, in uh, in Fable Two, which I played a lot of also because I had like I played the first one years before and I'm like oh I remember this oh there's another one cool and like for a period of three days Fable Two was actually just free. I think this was a mistake, but whatever. Like we got it for free, so there it was. I'm playing you know, Fable Two. Um. You have a dog in that game, which is really neat. And the dog will like fetch and you can like play with it and stuff. They basically just taken all of their um, like pet AI from black and white and you know, giving you a dog with that, which was, which was cool. And in a climactic scene in the game, uh, your dog heroically sacrifices its life to, to save you from, like, a wizard blast or something. Now, another crucial fact about Fable 2, um, you can become a landlord. You could just, like, buy properties and, you know, get, uh, collect rent and so on. This has been in every Fable game. Yep. And the way that the game, like tells you that rent has been collected is to just pop a dollar amount on the screen at the time when rent happens. <laughs> oh boy. And it just so happened to line up when I was watching this big climactic scene where your dog gets murdered by a wizard that the rent happened like right then. So it was like it got shot and then money popped out and I lost my mind with laughter. I just... <laughs> I thought that was... That's seriously the funniest thing I had seen in a video game at all. <laughs> it was the literal money shot. God damn it! <laughs> you bastard! Oh, you're getting... <laughs> yeah, this guy is like disgustingly good at pairing with a medium shield somehow. And I guess so am I. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. I haven't clicked on this bonfire yet, so he's being a real bastard. I'm gonna changing tactics. He's too strong. I can't win. So let us go somewhere where his strength is meaningless. But yeah, Fable 2 is also an infamously rushed game. Like, they just had to put a sequel out, and so they did with whatever they had. I, I, I kind of like Fable 2 a lot. I, like well I remember so I guess my my most of my experience with Fable was really enjoying Fable 1 and then feeling very cheated when they released the PC port yeah the, the lost chapters but I had no way to play the lost chapters so it's like oh well you played Fable but here's the better version of Fable that you didn't play. I'm dead. You buy Please buy it a second time. This guy's hard. This is a, yeah. And he's parrying. It's because this guy's just preternaturally good at parrying. And by that, I mean he reads your inputs. Um. 
Yeah, Snap Freeze didn't appear to do that much. Yeah, he uh, he might be immune to it. Mm. I'll try it out on this on this guy. And by that I mean try to I'll poison them. Yeah, that's what Snap Freeze says to guys. Like instantly kills them. <laughs> Rip. I mean, it's kind of appropriate given, like, you're paying a pretty high cost for casting that even once, right? Uh, I can cast it about five times with my current bar. Right, but you can swing your sword a lot more than five times is what I'm getting at. Yes. Right? You know, then you don't just stand there with a stick out for two seconds waiting to get your face, you know, hit with a sword. That's the, uh, that's why spells should be better than attacking because mm -hmm. they have their least resource limited on multiple fronts. So that's a that's a good question. Would I enjoy Yakuza games? Probably not. I've never played one. They uh they have too much game, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think they're they're fun, but Oh, oh, is it one of those things where it's just like here's an infinite game experience and it ends when you finally get bored? Yes. It does have, it, it does have its own like, each of the Yakuza games has a story that, you know, is beginning to, to end, but uh, a lot of it is the side exploration or, like, just kind of going around in Shenmue. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's, every, every system in it is much, much better than every system in every Shenmue. I'll just, I'm just going to say that right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But it is Shenmue adjacent. Uh, if you ever got bored of a GTA game, you'll get bored of, uh, of Yakuza. Mm. Um, they're good games, and they do have like nice character moments. It's it's very they're very very goofy. Um, like you go to a nightclub and a DDR game appears where you dance at the disco, and the characters on screen sing and dance together. They're singing dance together to the disco song you've chosen. Hmm. I guess I own some of them. If you wanted to see what they were like, I could boot one up at some point. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've watched plenty of people play them. I just... I don't know. I think there might be something there. Yeah, well, kind of might, a, a hole in my education. Might be worth giving a shot. See if they have a demo or something. Back oh yeah, the, the last game demo I downloaded was extremely uh, underwhelming. What was that called? Oh, sorry, it's technically not true because I downloaded Trials of Mana and it was also rather underwhelming but for different reasons. I have mixed um, feelings about Trials of Mana, but I'm I mostly really appreciate it for keeping everything that we love about how they speak. <laughs> How Carly and Kevin are absolutely unchanged. He is still the only beast man who talks like that. But it seemed really, 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 I mean, really easy. I, I supremely despise that about Trials of Mana. Um, that, <laughs> that is terrible. It is a, a horrible and wretched thing, and they went all fucking hog on it. See, that that is once again the difference between you and I. Yeah, the... the I just I don't want to play as Carly at all. Like if I if I ever play that game, which is unlikely given what the the demo did, um, I'm just not gonna have Carly. I'll get my healing from somewhere else. I'll like, get the Poto oil. Poto odos are still good. Happen. Also, the game's piss easy, so you don't really have to worry about that. Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I do think it it could like the the original thing could benefit from an overhaul to the combat because it just kind of. Like it, it gets way too samey, and like watching the watching a speed run of Seiken Setsu Three, for instance, is like they get Kevin, they go to the place, they go until yeah. they get the Flammy Bell or they, Flammy Drum. They put, <laughs> so yeah, they they do this like they they put items on him that that trigger his enrage mode, which is a thing, and then press the button to punch. It's like oh okay. One thing they did the Trials of Mana apparently is they made uh, like Angela as a fucking truck in that game when before spells took way too long to cast. Yeah, well, every spell would freeze the screen. In Secret of Mana, that only happened for the like level eight single target spells that had a unique animation. 
which was a kind of like that was almost a a little um, Easter egg. I got bonus because like leveling up your magic that much was um, difficult. <laughs> yeah. So when it froze the screen, it was like this dramatic moment. Um, but when that happens with literally every spell, and if you have Angela, that's the only thing that she can do for damage, really. So you're casting all the time, so you're just slowing the game down a lot. <laughs> that but, sucks. But in Trials of Mana, like, once you, if you get to her, some of her bonus classes, you can just solo the game. Because like, mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's abilities that you can stack that, like, uh, Ooh, I got smashes. That like I think what they do is I think the game just has blood mana in it, where you can have uh, spells do more damage if they also cost HP to cast, and you can like oh. repeatedly stack that ability. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, right. Also, if <laughs> I remember right, spells in that game cost like one or two MP. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, hey, what's I'll up? Blood, so you blood cast for one point five damage for one MP. Yeah. But if you want to well, play anyway, a... when I when I played the demo, it was like, you know, it was fine. Mm -hmm. It seemed like a 3D remake of a game that I kind of understood and was familiar with and basically things were fine. Um until you could Carly started the soundtrack talking. to be the original, which I that's, thought was kind of neat. That's a nice. That's a nice bit. But here's the thing that they did that made me put the game down and and not look back basically. Um in order to dash you have to hold the left stick, you know, click it in. You know, the one that you use to move? Yeah, you have to click it in to dash. Um, that's an extremely frustrating interface. And I'm like, okay, well, how do I customize controls here? And I went to custom controls, and that is one of the controls you cannot change. I could change it to be oh. either clicking the left stick or clicking the right stick. Hmm. There's no reason to do it this way. Oh. Just let me customize control, you jerk. Oh lord, he's coming. Uh oh. Oh lord, he's coming. Now again, I played a I played a demo, right? So I don't know, maybe that did change. Fucking but... dogged. Like you have to dash all the time. It's a big 3D game now. Like I can't just not do it. I don't know. I, I could have to ask someone I know who plays it to completion several times, and maybe she'd be able to tell me. Uh... Yeah, it really would be. Like, I I would have to customize my controller or something to be able to, like, basically play the game, and I'm just like, nah. This, <laughs> this experience is not worth that effort. You, you've played the game already in the form right? of Seekin Densetsu 3. Yeah, I even had that... Um... <laughs> they ended that thing recently where I where I played through up to the point where you go to the um the book. The ship get the blood book I got the blood book and then I, I read a little essay that I had written <laughs> just for the event that's the way I tell jokes by the way <laughs> this is my sense of humor is like doing a, a three and four hour long stream that terminates in the word blood on screen like rotating like hundreds of times while I read an essay and then that's it that's the whole that's <laughs> I, I love a good long con Be good. okay now they are angry at me and now my pop my place of power where I can freeze them momentarily Oh, okay. I, I, thank, thanks for, thanks for chipping in about that. I never know how these things land, so it's good to hear that anyone appreciated that. <laughs> I always tell a joke for first myself. Okay, my place of power is complete. I couldn't freeze them, but I could put them into a spot where they could not ah, get me. Ah, ladder. Yes, channel my power. <laughs> Play ladder with them. <laughs> So I'm going to go kill the giant, unless I have... Actually, do I have a young white branch? I do. I don't know if I have the right one, though. Oh, oh, that um, archer? Yes. Yeah.
because I went to killing him so I can get treasure. But I guess if I have the young white branch, if I go talk to him, he won't shoot me. Throw your pot. Thank you. You're much easier to handle with your board saw. I do like that it's a board saw. You can tell because it's got two blades that are spaced out. So when you cut with it, it forms a board. Bow of silence. Don't stupid skull dogs. Oh, these dogs. <clears throat> They're usually guarding an alluring skull. Hey, that's something that's been in the news. Skull dogs? Uh, no, well, no, the promise from the developers of The Last of Us that you will have to kill dogs and that people in the game will get audibly upset at you killing their dogs. Fine. That's... <laughs> I'm not that that might work for people who don't like it when dogs get killed in video games or movies, but I fucking played Resident Evil. I don't feel a thing. I feel nothing when I see the death yeah, of a dog on screen. This, well, the kind of joke of this is that this is nonsense to include in your game like why? Cuz they're they, naughty they, dog and yeah, they're 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 going for like cheap emotional beats, right? Uh, they're, no, they're going for hyper everythingism in their games. They uh -huh. make very good games that happen to have uh, incredible amounts of detail into them and it's Black Knight uh, 1000. Oh. Uh, Hi, Zygmire. I am the Black Knight. <laughs> Give me your money! <laughs> You're gonna have to, to fight that guy. <laughs> but anyway, you know, they announced this and it seems like extremely tacky and a cheap emotional grab and all that. But the thing that it reminded me of is that one enemy in um, Dawn of Sorrow. Yes, the guy who sends scared. his dog after you and then is sad yeah. after it dies. When really he should not be surprised that you've killed his dog because he was being mean to you. Well, I think I did not yes, go up high enough. You just, you know, or the yeah, or the owl knight in um. Damn it! Sympathy of the night. I'm, I'm gonna have owl, to redo owl this. Owl knight was the one I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> I should have gone up all the way. I'm like, guys, you are not treading new territory here with your like dumb plan in your video game, okay? See, I was just thinking, um, a couple days ago, somebody posted a clip from Shadow the Hedgehog, the video oh. game. <laughs> they got Bob! They got Bob! So that's why I was thinking of it every time. <laughs> they got Bob! Oh. And it's like, oh, that, that's, that's, the, that's what we're doing here. How have I never experienced Shadow the Hedgehog? Because think, it's, like... it's a terrible game. Uh, that's <laughs> so that you've oh, been okay. spared. I, I've been protected from it by the posse. Yeah, it's although I think Pokecam did, let's, did a failed Let's Play of it. Huh. I think there is a failed so you, let's play of it so you somewhere. You must have been in it somehow, right? Yeah, you were like, definitely in it. How do you right. not remember yeah, this, Kaz? <laughs> How do you remember not doing something that wasn't completed 12 years ago that you also probably you can't weren't in? That, that was like. <laughs> that was my Mandela effect moment. Yeah. It was like everyone believing that I was part of, of the Sonic 2006 the LP from way back when. So I'm running from everything because I fucked up a spot, so now I have to redo all of it. Okay, here you usually get, uh, Lucatiles? Lucatiles set, and also, um, a ring. A good ring. Yeah, didn't you convince me to, to come here for something? I, I did. You, like, yeah. I don't remember... The Quaranty ring, that's right. Quaranty ring was here, yeah. I did it with uh, Dark Souls messages, though, so it was kosher. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now I have to go. Okay, one second. What a, uh... Lotrek. <laughs> Still really fond of, of Lotrek bot. Mm -hmm. What I'll have to do is, um... You know, somehow play other games where that kind of thing would be appropriate. But I don't, I don't know how many experiences like that exist. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go back to the bonfire, and I'll worry about all this stuff later. 
Yes, fire your beam at me. I'm very impressed. They, yeah, someday they, meeting people who have already released Dark Souls, uh, uh, PS3 emulators, will release a special port of Demon Souls called Emulating It. Because that game's partially owned by Sony, so they are not porting it to PC. That game got, uh, it's, it, uh, Demon Souls, to, in order to finish its development, was co-published by Atlas and Sony. So they both have a stake in it. Hell yeah. Which, mean, which means, not, not going on PC ever. We'll be lucky if it gets, like, a remaster on a Sony platform. It's the, that's the console seller for PlayStation 5 is an HD remaster of, <laughs> of Demon Soul. Okay, I'm just going to go kill the rotten... No. No. I can't do that yet. I have to go here. I mean, I guess you could, but... I want to end the stream on a boss, but I shouldn't, because there's items. Oh, you have a whole area to still check around here, don't you? Yeah, and... But there's uh, missable items if I fight the rotten... Uh oh, now. yeah, you need to go into the, the Covenant area. I do, which is over here-ish. Wolf ring plus one! That's a good ring. It does not open from this side. I'm a wiener. Actually, wolf ring might not matter that much if I'm using longsword. Who's... Ah, okay. People are on. Good, good. Alright. I will go... to the other bonfire. I don't really know if I would want, like, a Demon's Souls HD port. I basically, like, played and enjoyed it, and I'm like, yeah. This yeah, is fine. It, it would just be a way to period. play it on a new platform. Yeah. You'd be able to buy it. I guess I just, I don't mind that kind of thing. Like, okay, so, this is this is one thing that makes me a whole lot different from most people that I know who do play video games, is trash culture, basically, right? Like, the, um, the, the expected way to engage with the, the art is to consume, be done with, and never return to. Um... This, this pervades how video games are made, produced, and by and large consumed nowadays. And I, I just okay. have never been that. Um, so I constantly play old shit, basically. <laughs> it's, I, that was true for a very long time with the prevalence of like loot games and like games that you play like over like a lot and a lot and a lot. I don't know if that's true anymore. I, on, on, a, on a very different side, I would just want a Demon Souls um, remaster, remake, whatever, because that would allow it to be played by people. Yeah, that's one of the things of like digital archival is like this is an art. Yeah, I, this is an art form that eventually, like, what do you do when? Like, like low print runs. How do we preserve? Like, how do how do new people play yeah, Super new... Mario RPG? Like that kind of thing. Right, right. That, that's kind of exactly what I mean, right? Where without piracy, these things would just sort of go away. Saga Frontier Two. Have fun finding that. Yeah, have fun <laughs> finding your. Although that I, I found it on eBay, but it can't be that. It was like, but it's only forty dollars. But there can't be that many copies out there, and it's like, how right. do you play Saga but... Frontier Two now? Yeah. Dead again. This guy is an NPC. Another Nana disappeared. Hmm. I like. I'd be sad after watching that play if that game was inaccessible. Just you know, disappeared forever. Because it, it's it's yes. a game I kind of wish for others to learn from. 
Yeah, how to write compelling narratives. Okay, step one, don't do what they did. Step two, do what they did with their characters and plot. <laughs> but wait, just wait, wait, what are we talking about? Saga Frontier Saga. 2. Oh, we, oh, oh. Yeah, we moved on to Saga Frontier. Yeah. Sorry, I did. Uh, so yeah, yeah, sorry. Someone, um, Masters, I was talking about Disco Elysium, and Disco Elysium um, is like the the grandchild of a whole mess of games that I never got into at all and that everyone loves apparently and my god like Fallout for instance right like everyone played Fallout everyone loves Fallout right that, that... definitely okay, and maybe not literally but like it was a big deal yes and um yeah, and Planescape Torment and shit. And my my terror, I will never play any game that is like that because I am absolutely terrified. Apparently, Planescape Torment is this like fucking brilliant, perfect, flawless masterpiece of a video game. And I'm terrified to play it because if I don't like it, someone is going to come kill me. <laughs> so I'm just not going to play it. <laughs> I, I do there's too many games that are like this, where it's like this old and very beloved thing that I have some like, you know, I have fresh eyes on because there like have been 25 years of video games since then, so all I see is the old crusty jank, and then I'm like, I don't want this. Ah, uh, do I have to dark sign? No, I have one homeward bone. <laughs> I. I think the game that I had that experience with uh, over the last couple of years was Ori and the Blind Forest. Yes, that's yeah, a you, that you is and a I have talked about that. Game. Yeah, uh, Ori, <laughs> Ori and the Blind Forest was built up to me as exactly that, a flawless masterpiece of a game that uh, was gorgeous, beautiful, could do no wrong, mm -hmm. and then it continued to just do wrong. <laughs> like repeatedly like it would, it would do the like it, so it wasn't like this is a bad game level wrong it was more like like i kind of call it like a, a 99 percent issue where the game just keeps poking you with like minor flaws to make you annoyed when you know like wow everything about this game is beautiful and gorgeous and this map system sucks. It's, <laughs> like, it's actively lying to you. Uh, I, I kind of bounced off of Hollow Knight for reasons like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whenever you get hit, the Hollow Knight shakes. was not as... At, le at least with Hollow Knight, it was, like, more narrowly a moment in video gaming, right? Like, people who yeah. liked that kind of thing liked it. That Whereas was like a fine forest was like everyone likes this. Look at this. Look at how cool it looks. And I'm like, I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> Hollow Knight is a game I have complicated feelings for because I don't know if I liked it, but it definitely did the exact things that like make my brain think about it. You know, it's like no, I, 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 it's like have I, you ever I, eaten I food? Hard off it. it was it was the same reason that I bounced off of La Mulana back when I played that. But, I, I the basic ways in which you constantly had to interact with the game, i.e., the movement and attack mechanics, were were just anathema to me. I I could not make the things happen that I needed to. With that, there were two main things in Hollow Knight. One, the the rebound that you got whenever you hit anything, like the, you would bounce off of them the, a little. The out and card. That stuck. Oh no, no, just and like then, yeah, your, your, your sword pushes you back. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's just, I hated it. And it happened all the time. It was just one of the things about the game. And I'm like, I can't deal with this. Um, the other, what was the other thing about Hollow Knight? I remember there was like... You talked about, I remember when we talked about it, we talked about uh, like a little bit about like the, the like mapping system and also the, uh, like when you take a hit, you get like a... I'm taking a hit, yes. Oh my god, they make, made a fucking federal case out of taking literally any damage. A big crack appears on the screen, the, the, the soundtrack drops out. It hurts, Kaz. <laughs> Why did you let the knight get hurt, Kaz? How could you do this? <laughs> I, uh, I 
I'm the person here who played Hollow Knight's completion and loved, again, uh, like 99% of the game. I have I have some problems where the game turns into uh, Super Meat Boy for no fucking reason. Yeah, the White Nut Castle. Yeah. Uh, that shit happened to me in, um, what was that? That free game. Cave Story. Yes. Well, Cave, cave Story yeah, Story. Hell is like famous in Cave Story for that. For being but, like, yeah, hey, so, what's up? Yeah, the, um, but I, 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 I'm the, I'm the Hollow Knight liker. Of, of See, the, the, like, un unrepentantly, yeah. like, I, I'm on, I'm on the, like, you know, I, I, you know, we, we again, the, the triumvirate, this is how it works. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, Hollow Knight to me. hates <laughs> it. One of us loves it. One of us is like so so on it. No, I I think I liked it, but I like I didn't like a lot about it. But at the same time, it's like have you ever eaten something, and you're like I don't like this, but then you keep eating it, <laughs> and it's like your body wants you to in, wants you to obtain it, and you're like this has nutrients that you need. Eat it. <laughs> Yeah, or your body is being fooled because those are not nutrients; those are like appetite um, promoters or whatever. Yeah, it's like no that's Hollow Knight to you're me. Eating, you're, you're eating a Pringle and you have to eat a second Pringle. Or it's like eating... yes, I I want to keep eating it, and like the game asks challenges of me that appeal to that part of my ego that won't say no to it. <laughs> and it's like uh... shit, fuck, I gotta do it. Why am I not doing it? Yeah, yeah, and they. Uh, and uh, again, to to, to kind of go back to what we were talking about to, to, at the start, uh, uh, Ori was not a. I, I did not hate Ori in the Blind Forest. I did not, but like I didn't think it was a perfect game, and that like had me at odds with this, you know, yeah, collective opinion of this is a perfect game that perfect. cannot be. Why don't you like and the perfect like, game, Jen? And it's like, yeah. and it's like, it's like I because it does some bad things and mm -hmm. like. This is supposed to be the updated edition where it fixed them, and it didn't. Wow. So, anyway, down, down, down the we go. We go. Okay. You, you've eaten the eggs. Yep. Huevos. Uh, more specifically, it has like a really, like, Ori has a, a really interesting, once it shows its hand, which is, it does not take long, it's a, like, it takes a couple hours to finally, like, give you an ability that is unique mechanically, and all of a sudden, you're like, oh, oh, this actually plays very, you know, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. It's just all of the systems around it were not. Uh, Are there any systems I'm missing, or any other systems, nodules. You said systems, so my brain said systems. I know, I know. Uh, um, I think I've got all the nodules. I just have to hit center. the to center. Let's try freezing it. Yeah. No, but for real, the part of the all and I touch of Super Meat Boy is like go down. I, I don't know why. It's there. It's just become like when I when I say it becomes Super Meat Boy, I mean the game goes from like dark aesthetic of you There's know buzz saws. fallen empires to buzz saws and spikes everywhere. I th like, I think it was li it's literally because of Cave Story that it does that because Cave Story does the exact same thing. Oh my yeah. god! I mean it, it does right. Well, oh, I've never seen him do this before. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Stand up! I've never seen that attack before, but I'm getting some sweet nodule action. Oh, oh he's he's that. gonna die on his belly. I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there were some nodules on those arms you can get to. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's a bonfire. Um, yeah. At the very least, there was there was plenty of backtracking. I I liked that about Hollow Knight. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the reason why I wish that fewer people liked Demon Souls, <laughs> or like maybe that's not the way to put it. But like, <laughs> you know, Demon Souls has that like one, two, three linear levels thing, right? And it's like. Hub world and then spokes. Mm -hmm. Hubbard, you know. And you know, that's fine. You can you can make games that are like that. But I don't think it's the only way to make a Dark Souls. Um but it seems to be like the preferred one because people like, you know. Uh, 
I, the, it's, the I think linear it's, level design more, uh, and I don't. I think it's because it's easier to design than more more that people like it. It's because hmm. making an intertwined level, like the level design of Dark Souls, is, is incredibly good for for that reason. Because and, there's a lot of like intertwinedness, what? and that had to have been mm -hmm. like the lion's share of the work of the design of the game was getting that shit to work. Yeah, because like if you you know take a look at two, which just sort of. Like, happy, like, goes from one place to the other, and, like, sometimes they touch, sometimes they don't. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, or even this yeah. game. Like, level design even of this the, game's like, not the, great. The total map in, in Dark Souls 2 actually, like, overlaps itself. <laughs> if you try to, like, <laughs> look at it logically from, like, a zoomed yeah. out. This, this game does have, like, you can see Farron Keep from the high, from the the high castle you can see or from from Lothric you can see yeah like there you, you like you know this game follows I mean, honestly the same I, way. I think my my ideal game is something like um it's something like that where everything's connected most of the the challenge of the game is actually in like figuring out where to go yeah I, love that. I, I miss that from from video games it seems okay. like such an afterthought in most games now. And, and sadly, in, in this one, like, the world is, is very connected and, like, you know, you can see A to B, but uh, for the most part, the first 30% is a very linear path that you only really have one choice on. Yeah, and then even after that, okay, I've determined that this guy can't be poisoned. Damn. And I'm Kay. sure I can't frostbite him because he is made of cold. Dark Souls is the best map in the series because there's no warping for half of it. Yeah, mm. That might be a reason why... It... It forces you to at least... mentally... come up with your own map of the place. Before you... You know, before you get to warping, you just kind of like go for Yeah. But, oh, I love that. I, oh. I think... Like, again, I think my, my ideal game would not have warping at all. I've, I've talked about this a lot before, but I, I think warps are just bad. They're a, they're a kind of band-aid for making sure the player can get through the game without getting frustrated, right? Just, you know, if you experience a setback, then, well, that's not... Don't worry about it, you can just teleport back where you need to go. Um, and this, this comes along with making areas too large. I would, I would much prefer something that allowed me to, or even challenged me in, like, mental map making and figuring out how things connect and then, you know, getting movement abilities or, or key items and then you suddenly have to you know, remember, oh, where did I see that before, that thing that I can now, like, whip across or whatever. So yeah, that's, we call that game Super Metroid. <laughs> yeah, I do like Super Metroid a I'm, lot. I... <laughs> Nervia brings up a, an interesting point. Do y'all think Dark Souls would be worse I with have. a map? Like, you know, um... I have. Yes. Like, a, like a, I'm thinking like a Metroid <laughs> Prime or a uh, Doom... Uh, yeah. I, th yeah I think it would be a different game. I think it would be a less frustrating game, probably, but would that make it better or worse? I, I don't know. Ask, yeah, Burnhead knows that the game is better without a map. By, and by that, without, ah. like, textures. <laughs> yes, the game is definitely better with no... You don't need it. I, I would never be able to play that mod. You can you can take it away and still play it. Ergo, you did not need it in the first place. <laughs> A simple... Okay, like, like... What about, yeah, you know, like, okay, Captain Booker brings up, like, literally, <laughs> a, a, a Black Knight just sitting here having a good day. <laughs> no, I, I think the, the kind of map that I would want in Dark Souls is one that your character has, rather than the one that you have. I mean, right, like, how, how about the map in Sekiro? Have that in Dark Souls. <laughs> Where it's like, it just shows the areas like, in relation to each other, and doesn't, uh... You get no, in, no real information from the Sekiro map. It just, there's like, a map? There's a map. It's on the, it's in the start menu. It's it exactly as helpful it, as you think it would it, be. It's literally, like, it looks like something that would be on a loading screen for like three seconds man i guess i have to play more of that game at some point well it is a really good game yeah 
I've basically come to terms with it, I think. Come on, Ziggy, help me. Yeah, at, at this point with Sekiro, I, I know I said this the last time I was playing it. Like, I know... I know enough about the game to just skip past all the parts that I find frustrating. <laughs> I think that's a good... The game allowing that is a good thing for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Dark Souls map totally totally over. That, but... I, I think... I'm dead. Oh no! Ziggy was no help. Ziggy he might literally have been help. But. He, he helped after I was almost dead and out of Estus. Which was my fault because I went there after uh, doing this <laughs> without restocking. Mm. So the plan now is I'm going to try well, to anyway, snap freeze him. I'm personally rather ambivalent about you know game experiences like that where if you know what to do, you can just sort of improve the game from within it, right? Like, isn't that the entirety of these games, though? It's like, I mean, ideally not, right? Like, ideally the game would just not have all of those frustrating parts, rather than having them and making you do things to skip them or, well, or subvert them. That's or, a really subjective thing though right well yes everything about my opinion here is, is rather subjective <laughs> I see <laughs> <laughs> okay round yeah. two round two against the demon how many times do you want to do the run back to Ribley oh yeah no you should have waited Okay, so the idea of a Dark Souls map that's just like a a postcard of Wardran <laughs> is, is nice. But I kinda like the idea of a Dark Souls map that's a postcard of Drangleic and trying to figure out what the fuck anything is from that. Like, here's the swamp. Here's the tower that goes out of the swamp. Here's the fucking lava mountain. Like Yeah, it's on the on top of the tower. <laughs> top of the tower. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Okay, I don't think I can freeze I the diesel. Don't think you can freeze. It's, it's too fire. Very fire. I, I resolved to freeze the weasel, but it was not allowed. Yep. You're uh, you're doing a lot better here because you got mm, your body taking point. Okay, I resolved yeah, to freeze the uh, weasel. He can't provoke enough. And, then... yep. <laughs> and I got the transposing kiln. <laughs> okay, not far from home. I mean, that's 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 a nice that's a nice prize. Transposing kiln. Why does that sound familiar? Because Was you that were... the thing that I had for a long time, and I just didn't know I had it. That is correct. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's the, it's the item that lets you turn boss souls into boss weapons. Yes. Oh. Well, that's not even that important. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's not. It just gives you, like, cool... Yeah, no, I, I thought for sure that it, it was it was something that was, like, definitely a key item that I had already collected, and then it was blocking off my progress. Nah, you were just repeatedly... Just and... You really wanted to know what you could do with boss souls. And, oh. and you were like, what, what, what do I need to do this? Mm. And everybody was very shitty about it. And that the kind of thing that randos and chat will holler at you and we'll see about yeah, it. Yeah, everybody got very thirsty and angry yeah. about it. And Sweet. other parties became slightly obstinate because of that. <laughs> I will not name them. But they were, and then, and then it never came up because you just found other things to do. Yep. Yeah. And the, uh,. Ooh, Katarina leggings. Nice. Yeah, I can become even fatter. Okay, I'm gonna get myself back to a bonfire, and then that'll be a stream, I think. Cool. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed revisiting this game. It still feels nice to play. Yeah, how does the, um, how does the randomizer part of it catching it, you? You know, honestly, this kind of feels like I'm playing the game right now. I haven't run into the, the randomizer defining things yet, which... 
part of that is I randomly determined what class I was going to play as, and I just happened to pick the one that starts with Longsword, essentially. <laughs> so... Mm. Yeah, you the, um... I have the Henri Straight Sword, which... Henri Straight Sword is, like, again, speedrunner weapon. That's a... That thing's nice. I might, I might not end up using it if I can't find Twinkling Titanite. I can Get buff you it, though. some uh, demon upgrading weapon, right? Yeah, because oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. goodness knows I have lots of those. Farin Dart. That's my first missile sorcery. It's very, very weak. I was gonna say that's the that, that thing is just incredibly weak. It, it's weak, but, but you, you can fight like rapid fire it. Yeah, I was gonna say you get like a thousand of them if I remember it right. I don't need to fight those women. <laughs> I don't need to. Yeah, you know. Oh God! Hex! <laughs> take a swig of the respect of women use and <laughs> what? Get hit through the wall. Oh. Okay, I think that's all the items from here. I have yeah, one look. potion left. Yeah, you're good. I guess I could visit the graveyard first. Because I did what I wanted to, which was, I didn't want to loot the graveyard until I had gotten rid of the giant archer. Due to that being terrifying. I would do it if I didn't have to collect every item. Because normally I just go get the bone sh shard and go get the ashes and then I'm done. But, but there's a ton of them now and I you don't want to be shot at while you're... Yeah, now I have to get all of the... Like Hawkwood's sword grass. Uh, and a Titan. That just shit sounds made up. It really does. Hawkwood's sword grass. You're just combining sounds together. It's too many items. I frequently do that. I frequently combine sounds together. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> you, you gotta mess this. Uh, I don't know if I did. Okay, so this the glow that gives you an Estus is the exact same one that happens from the ring of the evil eye. Yeah, I, I didn't think I, I just saw zero go to one, and I'm like, oh, that's uh, huh. usually when you uh, Oni Slayer Great Bow and a Dung Pie Talisman Great Farin Dart. Shinra trousers, that's that's what it's called, but Shira's child. Carlos? Oh, okay, fashion upgrade. Mm. Oh, that's a good coat. Yup, yup. This is usually the bone shard, and it's repeating crossbow. This weapon has a power ritual associated with it. I don't know if I'll be able to show it off or not. Uh, this game has some weird shit you can do with uh, oh, move swapping. Yeah. Like weapons had unleash attacks, right? Uh, yes, and uh, you can you you can like swap the repeating crossbow to fire great arrows. <laughs> so using glitches, and then suddenly it uh, becomes much more exciting. It becomes a very great crossbow. Flesh bite ring, that's not worthless. Yeah, there's, there's a guy around here somewhere. Like there he is. He got me, I thought I was out of his range. I've killed a lot of these guys because I wanted the flam bears. Even though it's not very good. But their hat is top tier. Oh yeah, wasn't wasn't there like a friendly one of those back at the hub and There is. Yeah. I have to free yeah. him, but uh he has a key to free him and I do not have the key yet. Randomizer, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have the yeah. bone he wants, because he wants Loretta's bone, but uh I have not the capacity to give it to him. And there were a few more items up here. Since I'm right here, I might as well go do it. Uh, 
Actually, yeah. they're, they're kind of hard to stop playing when there's like blowies. It's hard to stop playing when I'll forget where I left off. Because mm. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get around to this. As I have to do stuff in my dwarf fortress before I forget where I left off. Right, they're the same. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That See, going I well. get around that particular problem by only streaming one video game, and uh, I, I still have that problem because it is a baffling video game. I, I declared a Blood Vimber, so I have to... Oh, okay. Blood Vimber's uh, on. I, and yes, that is a very baffling game that spent an hour talking at you for... Nice ring. <laughs> an hour telling you that Ringabell joined the Planeswalkers. Uh, yeah. It's good. Can I use? Uh, I cannot use Great Farin Dart. What's that one need? Uh, 23. 23. Yeah, so I'm a ways off. I don't even know if I want to. Uh, this one. I have to go let the Pyromancer out. Hmm. Merchants are important because their inventories are also randomized. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and you have a smash hammer shop. Huh? You have some ashes too, that should give you... Yes! I don't know which one. I don't think I have Dreamcatcher's ashes? Yes. Yeah, dream, yeah Dreamcatcher's. Which normally I mean, would let it... me buy Titanite shards, but <laughs> no idea what it lets but... me buy now. Yeah, random, so... Ah, uh... Kaz is doing, uh, Bravely Second stuff. <laughs> and all of yeah. the streams are named after Gravy, and I'm too afraid to ask at this point why. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been watching it all? No, I'm sorry. It would be, pretty, it would be directly apparent if um, you had been watching. That's like a shibboleth for, like, have you been watching the show? Uh, <laughs> I've caught you! Kaz, what's the main livestock of my dwarf forge? Unicorns? Yeah, God damn it! Yeah, Actually, that's a false probably. answer. The actual answer is... Turkeys. Um, I was gonna say you let all the, like you, you kept losing a unicorn. Yeah, my unicorns kept turning wild. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, look, I have been watching you play Dwarf Fortress. I just am, uh, I understand nothing about what I do on the screen at all times, and it would be distracting for me to ask you to explain literally everything about the interface. I actually would not mind that because I've had some newcomers just wander into the stream and ask me questions and kind of feels nice to be able to explain such a weird game and with any sort of authority because i shouldn't i should not have that authority <laughs> My, uh, the blind leading the blind here but i i, I will in in a couple weeks i'll actually have a, a stream like that going because you're gonna play dwarf Fortress? no a, a game that i can at least speak with some authority on that i will enjoy streaming oh so you're you're going to have the experience i don't have Except I streamed Dark Souls yesterday, so I often have that experience. <laughs> uh, the, the Xenoblade remake comes out. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's Three weeks. very different from Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. Extremely. Although. But also, what if it's. No. Nah, what if it's, it's there's there's, there's, there's like gem crafters already... in it, and therefore is like Dwarf Fortress because you can craft gems in Dwarf Fortress. Ooh, an item. A I've soul. already spent my, my one. Like, I have the one game that I have all the knowledge, and I've already streamed it, so. <laughs> can go watch me play Diablo 2. Do so. Doing my best to not click on monsters. It's a good it's time. A, <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a fun one. Actually, yeah, it was a ride. Actually, I'm, there's more items here, and I'm actually incredibly dumb. It's mostly just, like, lengthy and chill. I enjoy. What more do you want than that? I, uh... I enjoy yeah. watching the, um, or like you, you can see in the comments, people will be, will, will call out moments. It's like, ah, I touched a thing. But I, 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 like, <laughs> I, I just, I, I find that very silly. Uh, you know, it's like, yeah. ah, it's yeah, like, well, probably well, why. I right, well, definitely well, clicked on a monster that one well, time. You no, know, the, 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 <laughs> the, the point to moments where you're hovering over a thing. It's like, Ooh. Yeah, click. That actually click. Yeah, it's not a click. It's, it's, it's just kind of a hover. 
Well, it's not your fault. The game desperately wants you to click on monsters. Yeah, it's it's designed around like clicking repeatedly click on. on monsters. That was kind of the whole high concept of the the run at all. Yep. So now I have to do a thing. Oh, okay. You are still running. Good. Yeah. I was like, uh, what? Get murdered by the 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 pop? The chain man will stop following oh, me yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah. Here's my guy, by the way. I didn't spend very long oh. on him. His name is Cheese Whiz. <laughs> I, do, I do appreciate the, um... <laughs> I was checking on something and I knew... He wa He started backing away! He started backing away! <laughs> What more can you ask for? Oh, I love it. It's board saw men being board saw men. <laughs> yeah, ruse. <laughs> mm, okay, now I can start from the right bonfire at least. So, um, I have to fall off a cliff here. But yes, I named my man Cheese Whiz, and I didn't want to spend too much time on him. The last time I streamed this game, I, had, I noted that I had two different kinds of characters I tended to create. One of them was ain't, was well, angry looking young women with purple hair, and the other one was very weird looking old men. So since the last time I made Harold, I had to make an old man this time. And what I was about to say is I uh, appreciate how you sharpened his face. He's, <laughs> he's uh, could split wood with that man's nose, like. <laughs> Uh, I like the uh, what do you what do you call them? mutton chops? The yeah, he's got he's got chops. They don't really connect up with his with his uh, with his with his hair. Um, they just kind of go up a little bit to the ear and stop. Okay, so if you fall off here, you can survive. Yo, yes, this is a. Uh... So I do not need the key. How good is Caduceus shield? Not as good as Polar shield. Okay. And I'm just going to get some more items while I'm here. I'm going to have to cut down on weight. It's probably the milkwood gauntlets that are way too heavy. What are you trying to keep? No good. Uh, 70 is the fat roll in this game. Anything under 70 is mid roll. Okay. Now I need to look up if Milkwood is real. It sounds like it would be. Let's see. All right, Bing. Bring it up. Ooh, I can re I can refine my search to red Milkwood or white Milkwood. Okay, that that starts mm. telling me immediately that it could be real. Let's see. <laughs> I'm getting um, videos of how to um, grow moss. Let's see. Oh, ooh. Nope. Oh, just the uh, the Wikipedia entry for Milkwood is really far down on my Bing list. That's kind of. Uh... Okay, it, it is real. It could refer to um, Alstonia, a genus of evergreen trees and shrubs. What are you doing? I would, I'm looking for an item. Uh, I would believe it would be an ever, a evergreen tree because the Milkwood guys uh, came from a forest and they live in the cold. So. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing uh, weird shit because I thought I, there was an item I wanted to There's a white Milkwood in southern Africa. Um. Cabernet Montana, a pan-tropical genus of 100 to 110 species of flowering plants in that... the Aposinaceae family. Is that milkweed? Uh, so milkweed is I definitely a thing. There are flowers. Butterflies like them. Stem succulents. Commonly known as the dogbane family. Oh dear. Mm. I wonder what 
is their poison for? I like poisons. Could be anything. My Here's favorite this, this ambiguation page. Milkwood could also refer to a band of Anglo-Canadian rock from 1969. Nice. <laughs> of course. Can I give my dog dog pain? <laughs> 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 my favorite poison though is chocolate because chocolate made itself to be energy rich so that its seeds could propagate with having lots of food for the seeds and they made themselves poisonous so that not many animals would be able to eat them Ziegbrow. but then humans came along from another fucking continent <laughs> and found this plant that did not want it to eat not, did not want them to eat it and they decided, yo, this shit is banging. Let's eat the shit out of this. Let's eat this poison. Yeah, yeah, I love the poison. Like, isn't there some kind of, like, small mammal that, like, is immune to the, like, capsaicin? Uh, and so they can just, like, eat the hot stuff? <laughs> eat the hot stuff. That sounds, yeah, that, sounds like, so. that sounds like slang from, like, a 1930s pulp novel. Yeah, we gotta go see Jimmy the Pusher. Load up your gun, boys. No, no, no. We're going to give him the hot yeah, stuff. Hot stu He's going to eat the hot, hot stuff. It's definitely a chapter title, or perhaps it, even a like a, a title in a pulp serial. Yeah, the, 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 like book four in a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, book four in in um like Davy Hardhammer, <laughs> the detective. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show Jimmy the Finch. What Finch? What happens when when you mess with us? You mess with us. We gonna feed you the hot stuff. <laughs> Could be a radio serial, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Eat the hot stuff. But I am I am talking about a real world creature. I just uh, yes. can't remember the name of the of the yeah. thing. Yeah, I, I would believe it. Philomore spear ornament. They're saying. Uh, people saying birds. Yep, bird, most oh, yeah, birds. Most birds are all immune. But no, there's there's like a mammal that has a mutation that allows them to eat it too. I, I remember this from a tweet that someone did that was very charming, where like a hypothetical conversation between this this creature and a human, and and the creature asks, "Oh yeah, I I like this stuff too. You mean you also have the mutation that makes you not taste it?" And the human is like, what? "No, no, I like <laughs> that it hurts." <laughs> That's the that's the point. <laughs> it's like uh, it's 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 a kind of bio uh, like uh, uh, b -b -b it's a kind of like adaptation that's almost Pavlovian, where it's like me and Hollow Knight. <laughs> my body wants it. My body needs it. It's going to overlook the fact that it's hot, and it's going to overlook the fact that I had to fight that fucking failed knight like fifteen million times in a row. <laughs> it's going to overlook that. It's just going to remind me about the rush I get. It's not going to. Remind... Also, here's uh, here's Anastasia, the blind girl. The tree shrew. Okay. Shrews are fucking wild. Shrews are like awful, as far as critters go. They are weird, awful, hyper violent cannibals that eat like three times their body weight each day because their metabolism runs so hot. If, a shrew, if, if certain kinds of shrews ever stop eating, they immediately begin starving. Wow. And they also don't live very long. Oh, no. Because of that. <laughs> Anyways. Got it. Got it. So they, they're basically like the biological real-world form of Jason Statham from... From Crank High crank. Voltage? Or crank, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait, is it Crank? Yes. Or cranked. Crank. Oh, I thought it was cranked. Mm. With the, like, past tense. Or, like, he got cranked, and now he's has Not this wizard of needing to, like... Crank um, to crank harder. That's crank oh. to high voltage. <laughs> Isn't it? I, I, <laughs> I, okay, look, he has I, sex I on a horse track. i talking about movies that I have not seen and barely know the names of, but... <laughs> But you know the idea. You know the idea. Yeah, it was just like Speed, the movie, but with a person instead of a bus. Yes. High voltage. Yeah. High voltage. All right, let's check out the merchants and then finally into the stream. And an hour after I said I would. 
I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> the stream will end. I, I've been doing the opposite of that. I've been like planning out four hour streams and then I I get too tired. I also have been starting mm. really late, but Zeno's stream here we got. Which eight thousand ember would you want to buy? This one, this one, or this one? <laughs> You, okay, you got a lot of pricey stuff here. I, I feel like you're being blooming purple moss or limited edition purple moss. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's which one do you want? I like that I can buy t chunks even though they're expensive. Chunks are like one of the limiting factors of this game. And you get one large shard. You get one large shard or titanite shard, titanite shard, or titanite shard. Oh, Way of man. white corona. He sells the destructo disc. Mm-hmm. Nothing else that super special. There's a mod. Okay, so go back to the shields quick. Uh, there was a mod that I, I wanted to bring up. Yep. Uh, in the shields, right hand side, second row, there's the small leather shield. Mm -hmm. There's a mod that just turns it into the chrome logo. <laughs> Yeah, they got the they got the uh, they got you there. They got you to the ninety five yard line. You just had to uh, tip it in. <laughs> okay, so this guy should be here, and he's also a merchant. Oh yes, he's going to give me some moss. Here you go. You can you can also have the pyromancies hands over moss. Ooh, I can increase the Next power morning. of my ring of the evil eye Ooh, by plus eye. one. Uh, he sells one charge, one shard. Okay, he's not selling much stuff. I mean, upgrading your ring is nice. That's cheap. Yeah, I might as well do it. Everything else. Oh, I can. Oh, he's got. He's got learned pyromancy, which he sells this stuff, and then he's got purchase item, where he sells this stuff. <laughs> good price on embers. It's two thousand. That's pretty good. I don't have a pyromancy flame for to reinforce. And then the wizard. Well, not the wizard, but the uh, the hunchback wizard. The asshole wizard will have to wait. I know I've also frequently said that I wish there were way less numbers in, in games of this kind. And I think that also goes for inventory. There's too much stuff. Uh, Bloodborne so would have solved that, except they they lowered their lowered the amount of weapons in the game and super increased all of the other shit in the game. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. like a thousand runes. No, no, here's a million runes. Here's ten million ri uh, ritual objects, and here's a bunch of shit that you don't know what does. A thousand gems. Ten thousand gems. Oh God, the randomly generated the randomly generated gems mm. that have like. 0.01% increase to a stat that you don't know what it does. Actually, like, get out of here. Oh man, I'm gonna do this because I wanna. Oh, and all of it is blood. There's there's blood. a million items and they are all blood. There's blood gem, blood dart, blood rune, blood rock, blood sock, blood. <laughs> like it, it, it's it's incredible how many bloods we've got. Okay, did it add? Okay. It added the dark sign to my inventory. I was oh, wanted, I wanted to see if the dark be... sign might be right. Might be right. Might be like right a random item to your inventory instead of the dark sigil. <laughs> you just fucking pick it up at some point. <laughs> wow. That would have been really fun. <laughs> I guess my old man's gonna go hollow now, but whatever. Okay. I forget what that does in this game. It makes you need it for an ending. It gives you free levels from the wizard guy. He gives you like three or five of them. Yeah, you can get up to I think seven or five free levels. And, and so they're just and having and then... sigils in your inventory makes you hollow as you die, which has no gameplay effect, but makes you wrinkly. Yeah, it turns oh. you yeah, Dark Souls one hollow. So is Hawkwood gonna be? Outside and ready for me to kill him because I picked up his special oh, grass. God. Um, Let's find fog, out. Fogwall, yeah. Here's the true Dark Souls 3 experience. Fogwall's at the fire link. Yeah, it's probably because I'm not running it off an SSD. 
it, it that is that is in my mind the truest experience is that Poor freaking fog wall. No, he's just out here being sad. Got it. Okay. Well, that was Dark Souls 3 Randomizer. Thanks for joining me, Kaz and Jens. Uh, this game yeah. is pretty good. The randomizer element of it hasn't really kicked up yet, except that I had to dig around to find uh, the coiled sword at the beginning of the game. The other stuff I just kind of mm. lucked into. I had to buy the tower key to get to the coiled sword. Uh... We're still searching for a thing I want to do. It become it seems apparent that I should probably use sorcery because I found I started as a sorcerer and I found crystal. Just as soon as we find a sorcery that's worth casting, but yeah, I mean, I, I think you have at this point. Yeah, I found a bunch. I found crystal so. soul spear, which eventually will be worth casting. Like the chilly air just didn't do it, right? It works that, against that was not normal. Get done. It works against normal enemies. Uh, great magic weapon is known quantity. It's just a fine thing to cast. I don't know about these. Oh, I have affinity, which is what this game calls uh, um, shit. What was Pursuers? it called? Pursuers. Yeah, perusers. Yeah. So I have I have found the perusers, which is similarly powerful. A forbidden dark sorcery. Dark sorcery. And all of the uh, dark spells in this game have poetic descriptions with bad uh, text layout. <laughs> or perhaps, emblem, love yeah. towards another. Like, that will pertinaciously pursue its target. Mm -hmm. Even if, like so many human desires, it amounts to nothing but misfortune. Like, it says that, and then, like, Great Soul Spear. Fires a fucking Soul Spear. Big hat invented it. <laughs> and then this one. What if it was, like, desire? Bless, bless corpses, transforming them into traps. This game has corpse explosion. Uh, it's not good, but whatever. Anyways, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, tomorrow will be something. Uh, we'll be doing something, but not for you streamers or viewers at home. It'll just be for us, but I'll have to figure yep. out something else to stream tomorrow. That was me whipping the camera around. Good night! <laughs>